Yeah. Head fucked him completely, you know what I mean? And we're live. My camera's fucked. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. It's me. Remember me? The I'm back. America. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> we are Team VUKM. Don't forget. <laughs> hello, yep, chat peeps. <laughs> It feels like I haven't seen everyone for like weeks. Well, I haven't, have I? We didn't. You haven't. No? <laughs> yeah, it's been fucking weeks. Week. I haven't seen no. everyone for weeks either. Time to me at the minute just goes crazy, to be fair. Time's not on your side. <laughs> <clears throat> Tony and Chris change sides, lol. What? What? Hey. Hey. Have we? Have you switched sides? <laughs> I don't no, know. I'm, still a le I'm still a red and so is Chris. Yeah. Red till we're dead. Am I right, Chris? Indeed. Hi, Andy. Oh, Tony, you missed it, by the way. What? 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 At uh, the London Vape Show. Andy comes over to me and, uh, and taps me. I turn around and goes, All right! <laughs> <laughs> All right! <laughs> oh, you should have got that on camera. He was cool. Uh, Andy's such a sound bloke. Yeah, he, he came to buy some juice and everything. He was like, I want to try this. And he did. So it's nice and... Out of all the people that I've met on the UKN, uh, and uh, I wasn't sort of expecting it, he is an absolute treasure, that yeah. fella. He's a diamond, he? He is. He's a, he's a diamond geezer. In fact, he's Uroys! <laughs> 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 and so was, uh, remember Telford, Chris, when he turned up at your shop? Yeah, yeah, he's a cool dude. N another diamond geezer, him as well. Like, you know, these are people I didn't expect to meet, and I didn't have any expectations, but he accept exceeded any expectations I may have had. Yeah. <laughs> Rearrange and make sense of that. It's a bit of a Rubik cube of a sentence, but I think you get me guessed. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, I've never been under Tony, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks like Harold Stepto. Not my bag, baby. Not my bag. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> vape snake. Oh, that's what vape snake's about, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. He likes a good hide poke now and again. Game of hide the vape snake. <laughs> I'm gonna poke Jay up the arse. There you go, Jay. Have some of that. Hi, Dave. You okay, mate? Sorry about vape snake. Do you remember that? Um, In fact, I'm using like a that, puppet look. That one episode of catchphrase. <laughs> Do you remember that one episode of catchphrase with the snake's head going? As the yeah. Fucking on it? It was rude as fuck because he just saw this hand going like this. Yeah. I'll stop operating Jay now. <laughs> oh yeah. Before we before we go any further, happy birthday to our very own Kerika. Yes. Yeah, yeah, happy birthday, <coughs> darling. Happy birthday, Queen. I hope you've had a good one and you don't get too fucking squ squiffy. <laughs> you know, you said squash then. Squash, <laughs> I wonder where your squiffy, mind was. Squiffy, mm. squiffy, squiffy, squash. <laughs> I'm going to play with my camera. Jay's being things. turned up. Hey, Kane. It is Kane, isn't it? Hello, David, the Salford Vapor. Yep. Thanks for the review as well, really appreciate it. Who's this? What review, Chris? Uh, Dave reviewed uh, Bake Off for me. Oh, nice one, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know he'd done the reviews, Dave. Yeah, he started the channel. Oh, I'll have to have a sub. Yeah, go and subscribe like to him. Yeah. He's done. Um, he's done quite a cool video of basically. He goes to all the different starter kits for like ten pounds, fifteen pounds, stuff yeah. like that, and then works his way up. It's a pretty cool video. That was something I was always going to do, but I never got round to finding anything half decent. You know, Bacon, lettuce, know. tomato, vampire. <laughs> 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 Get back, get back. That cracked me up, that get one. Back. <laughs> Actually, it's Kev, he's above me. I'll just be, uh, let me... No, yeah, it's Kev. <laughs> no foot massage, get Les on it. Les, give her a foot massage. <laughs> Tony, I've switched you. All right, okay, I can start operating Jay again. <laughs> you ready, Jay? Let's go, fo let's go forward, Jay. <coughs> forward and backwards. <laughs> and to the left. And to the right. And now we're going to have a little pogo. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, Hi, Kane. Love. You okay? Yeah. Welcome to the Muppet Show. Oh, I've missed this show. I've been, I've been here for two weeks and I've totally missed it. Like, uh, Fucking part timer. Group hug. Come on, group hug. It's nice, it's uh, nice. Dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't do hugs. Well, I have one of these then, Kev, where are you? You're over there, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you missed. <laughs> 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 
These old two hugs, what's wrong with you, man? That's better. <laughs> and I hope Tony's wearing a glove for that. You should, I should have thought about that, shouldn't I? <clears throat> Never mind. Glove. Yeah, so, uh, listen, has anyone here heard about the new release of the old or the new Cleto 120? Yep. Cleto. Yeah, I stock them. Yes. Absolutely amazing. For people in chat, if you don't know about it, I'm just going to throw this uh, in now for the chat to see. Basically, they put a big fat glass in it. Yeah, they have. Yeah, basically. <laughs> chat, it's there for you to have a look. There you, you go. Get your best and buy a load of shit or anywhere like that and get a shitload of the old fucking glasses. Absolutely correct. Absolutely I just had that coming. Oh, the speeder. Oh, the speeder. Yeah. Oh, I want one of them. I haven't tried oh, it yet. But. It's still, it's still there to be used. But. According to a, a, got a bit of a Star Trek Voyager feel to it. Yeah, it? yeah, mm. it does. Yeah, yeah. And Vic said, uh, I think it was Vic. Uh, it must have been uh, Hello. He uh, said um, <laughs> that the actual lifespan of the batteries and it is tremendous. Like, you know what I mean? I know that it's came. One of the two. That came in today. Well, I've had four packages today. The postman was coming in and he came back in. I was like, what? Another one? Okay. Oh dear. <laughs> Postman's fucking forgot where I live. Chris, did you know the RX Gen 3 tank has a rubber piece for you to remove the four, for four mil? Yeah. I've yeah. been told this, but yeah, the coils last about six minutes, so yeah. there's no point. Yeah, in the in the gnome tank, or as uh, DJ was saying, <coughs> DJ was saying you're nice, the gnome! <laughs> <laughs> you have called it the gnome? I was like, fuck off, the gnome. Uh, if you look inside... <laughs> the, the, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you look inside, there's like a little uh, like silicon gel thing, and you've got like a screwdriver underneath, you can pry it out, and therefore it doubles the capacity of the tank, you know? Yeah, what was the other one? There's one that's, uh, it's that fucking mod with the dual boards in it. The, is it EH Pro? Uh, one, it's, got two, it's got two boards in it, and the, the RDA, <laughs> RDTA on the top. Has got two tanks built in it. It's got two sides, so you can have mint in one side and tobacco in the other. And the mint in the you can turn the wattage up now. But that has got these little like clamp things in it. If you unscrew yeah. the screw on it, these yeah. little things come out and it makes it like six mil as well. Oh, good. I'm closing that window. There's a brother and sister having World War Three in the garden next door. Just there. I thought yes. you were near some sort of medieval torture chamber. There, <laughs> you know what I mean? Take him to the rack. <laughs> <laughs> Put them in the Iron Maiden now! <laughs> <laughs> Quick, past the Holy High Grade of Antioch! <laughs> <laughs> Any minute now, them church bells are going to start clanging like <laughs> the medieval scene will be set completely, you know? <laughs> Some fellow will just walk past the hood on a big axe. <laughs> Watch for team, mummy! Executions! <laughs> yeah. Black Steampunk, you mean that one, BLT? That's nice. It's not a bacon or lettuce tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Every time I see that guy in chat in different shows, it cracks me up. <laughs> As I do the fella there at Ryan's braces, I just keep seeing onions, onions brace. Yeah. So <laughs> every time I see him, I go, all right, onions. And he takes it all in good humour, as does bacon, lettuce, tomato. <laughs> That's a fusion. Fusion mod, that was it. Yeah. And there's another guy comes in, um, Big Guns, and I just call him 68 Guns. You know that we song by the alarm? <laughs> I just Thanks call him 68 Guns. Goodies, Evening, Vic. Hey, Vic. Hello, Victor. <laughs> MBK's here as well. Hello, Danny. Hi, Danny. Hey, Danny. Danny. How are you doing, bud? MBK. Oh, for that one. Juices. You're a naughty, naughty man, Vic. Well, well done. done now. Very appreciative, mate. Oh, Kev was on a promise, then I had the zip going, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Not on camera, please, Mr. Viking. <laughs> Save that for the bedroom. Behind the watershed, do you mind? <laughs> well, he's got a watershed, a shed full of water. <laughs> What's the fucking point of that? Oh, no way. His new nickname is the Water Boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kev, did you see the hole of the moon? <laughs> <laughs> Yep, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. <laughs> we're back, we're back. To, I'm going to have to watch The Waterboy later now. I fucking love that film. This is FNLWFO. Wide right. right. fucking open. I got back to the hotel one night and was like so tired and then put the telly on. Black Hawk Down was on. I was like, nope, I'm staying awake. <laughs> what a film that is. Really? 
Is that uh, Johnny Depp or something, is it? It's, uh, oh, who's in it? There's loads of it's different it. people from different films, isn't it? The, the fucking Headless Horseman thing run through the fucking... I've got the right film. No, it's the helicopter that gets shot down with the army guys in. That's right, I'm there, does it? <laughs> does, yeah, there's horses and stuff in oh, it. Oh, um, is that the funny one, the comedy one? No, it's that serious. It's not a serious <laughs> film. No, what do you guys watch? <laughs> There's, As you can tell, Chris, we're all film buffs, you know what I mean? Oh, I wasn't listening. <laughs> it's called Black Hawk Down. It's when they shoot the oh, Apache. Black Hawk Down, yeah. yeah, classic film. There's a fucking Apache in the sky. I don't know they can fucking fly. <laughs> you know? and I've seen them ride horses with the feathers and all that. Like, I don't know they can fucking fly. Like, you know? It's just a really low budget one. It's just a drone gets shot out the sky. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had a, I've got a drone in for repair today, actually, funny enough. Oh, I went to Costco the other night. I want the DJI Phantom, the new one. Oh. Mate, do you want to know something, right? Yeah, the problem with DJI stuff is it's beautifully made and stuff like that, but it's ridiculously overpriced. They're yeah. like 150 quid for a fucking battery. It's only got a, 50, a 25 quid battery in it. Oh, he's it's got like one. A posh box. Mm. He's got a drone. It's black or fucking. <laughs> hey, say... If it's all about fucking drone willy waving, let me go and get the fucking racing drone out. Ooh. I've raced that many a time. I fucking won. <laughs> I've got one in for repair, and I've got one that um, is my own one, which works. I'll be back in a minute. Don't mind it. Yeah. They're all right, Dan's wrong. You just got to get the hang of the fucking things. I must have broken yeah. about fucking ten ornaments in the house, you know, when I first got it. Like, yeah. you, it's like that fucking advert, you know, for Mr. Kipling. <laughs> 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 you know, that's good air, the cake, you know what I mean? Like, sorry, love. <laughs> It's Chris's fault, black or down, all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Jay gone? He's fucking shrunk. He's gone to get his drone, apparently. Can't say fucking. That's a big chair. I can't see him in it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. When the fuck did he get an office chair? Um, oh yeah. I I know how that come about. So let him tell you that. Hi, Les. Oh yeah, I finally got to meet Les and Carriker in person as well. Flesh bang bullet with a big chair, what a battle gas. <laughs> Call blimey and all that stuff. Call blimey, Gavna. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the the nice people, Chris, aren't they? Yeah. There you go, Chris, there's mine. I'll tell you I'll tell you the truth oh, when they're off cam. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. Why has he got a mushroom on the top of it? <laughs> that's the um that's the aerial for the uh, video transmitter. Has it got a built in fire alarm? It makes a, funny, alarm, makes a funny fucking noise, doesn't it? That'd do me fucking head in that one. <laughs> I just said, has it got a built in fire alarm and it's fire alarm enough? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jay. I feel like I've got fucking tennis. Let's fucking switch that off with it. <laughs> fucking hell. Jesus Christ. It's just his missus burning the salad. Hi, Joe. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Is that Jody Owen? He's brought the fire alarm back in the bag. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It's a man bag. A very, very small expensive man, man bag, because inside this man bag is something rather sexual. Oh, I. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Al Alchemy. Q, 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 Alchemy. Oh, is that an FPV one? Yeah, so is mine. Oh. Mine's FPV as well. That's cool. Wow, the things you can do with Meccano. About 260 <laughs> quid for everything, with the radio and everything. That's actually quite cheap. But, yeah, it's from um, Banggood. Oh, that's a good little site, that. Yeah, they have some good shit on there. I think I got that fucking drone from there, I think. I think yeah, something probably. like uh, 15p or something like that. I got mine from Maplin. The controller Maplin. for this thing? The controller for this thing's nuts, mate. I got a little mini one from Maplin, the, the shop where everything's ten times more expensive. Yeah. I just want a hard drive, I okay. I oh, oh, that's cool. It's a proper remote. Yeah, it's like my one's a proper one. So you, walk, you, you walk into like. the control board on it. When you walk into Maplin and you need a hard drive and it basically works out to me enough for 10 of a gig. I know, they, they didn't used to be like that years ago, they were sound as fuck. Falcon <laughs> 250, Chris. 250 for everything? No, uh, 260, I think it was, for everything. That's cool. Yeah, and the goggles. That's and well the goggles cool. As well. You're right, Chris. Maplin's for uh, people who have like the same behaviour as Tim Knight's nice booked in. You know what I mean? Uh, I could get it as a bargain price. So I can go to Maplin's and clean out my bank account. I think I'll go to Maplin's. Like, you know You're I mean? never alone with a drone. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that Robbie fucking punchline, you bastard? <laughs> they got 50% off now as well, apparently. They don't Where? price on PC World or I anything, then? It's just a fucking rip-off, isn't it, eh? When you go in and say, oh, I can go and get this in PC World, oh, we can't uh, price match them. Why? They're not a competitor. Yes, they are. 
Matt one should have a strap line saying we love rich thick hoes. Yeah. You know? Because yeah. Yeah, you never get a bag in there, do you? Right. You're never alone with a clone, the drone. <laughs> hey, Vic, you'll be hearing from my lawyers on Monday. That drone, <laughs> with the remote and everything, is 167 quid. Nice. You don't get the goggles or anything, but the goggles are like 45 quid. You no, put goggles on the fucking drone, what's the point of that? <laughs> Please go swimming. No worries, yeah. Right, Submariner so drone. <laughs> <laughs> is that one of the Irish ones, is it? <laughs> Sorry, it's only 21 Irish out there, just a bit of banter. Here's Zan, the man with the coolest green screen going at the minute. Hey, Zan. Hey, yeah. Although Vic's um, previews of his videos now with the green screen are really scary because he sort of floats. It's like he's like the oracle of like vape and he's like floating around. It's a solar system, yes, it fucking is. Okay, no. Mahatma Vic. Nom, nom, <laughs> nom. We found the I'll new planet. Get, I'll have to get my green screen back up and on the thing. Yeah, you did a couple of crazy ones where you were in like a call centre. I was like, what am I watching here? What's going on? Oh, do you know what it was? I had no stock footage and I seen that and I thought, well, that's different. Yeah. Yes, it, yes, it fucking I is. I think the best one that you did was the one for the e-leaf and it was the e-leaf box on the green screen and your box is invisible. Yeah. You had a hand. You just like, yeah. did, it was green screen on the two of them. And when I first got it, I'd done like a, a spoof uh, test of it with uh, Jürgen Klopp and all that. Did you see that one time? In the, in the press conference room? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought, this is great, what can I do with it? You know what I mean? I need they to get are one. good. They are good, like, you know what I mean? I need to get one. Out. No, I, I brought a couple of things back from the show. I robbed the uh, the sign from the stand. It's up there. No, they, they put you above your stand so you know where you are. Mm -hmm. It's like... Up there. Oh, yeah. Empire Vape Club. And you that. got a stool as well, didn't you? Yeah, it was in the reviewers area. I actually said to the guy, can I take that? And he said, yeah, put it in the shop. So I put it in the shop with the award thing sat on it. So you've robbed, you've robbed the fucking stool. <laughs> you were giving them away. But that one, off, the, the name off me sign, I was like, no, you can't I'm take taking that. Or anywhere, can you? No, well, Listen, there's, there's nothing wrong with five finger discount, okay? Yeah, well, I left smock stand hey, on bricks. What's <laughs> There's onions, braces. <laughs> onions, your meat and bacon, lettuce, tomato, vampire. Kerrick said, just in case you forget the name of a shop, I can never forget it now. Oh, look at that. Mm. Okay, now. Yeah, I seen you there a little uh, bit on that the other day, Chris. What, where was that? Watch what? Where was it, that tattoo parlour? Um, I thought recognised the area. Oughton Avenue, Anfield. Yeah. I thought it was, yeah. It's so now, like, it's, it's really hot. It's never done that before. It's, like, warm. I need to get some cream on it or something. Yeah, you've got most of the colour work, haven't you? Yeah, that's black, though. It's all black. Yeah. yeah. Got to have, like, for a week or so. Yeah. Why does the colour one not hurt as much, Kev? Um, colouring's a piece of piss. You can sit there and be coloured all fucking day and have no issues. Yeah. All right. What's the... Behind that, well, how's that work, like? Sod's law. Oh, I, 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 I was sat there and it was fine until I got to like, the crease in my arm and I was talking to him. And he said, you okay? I was like, yeah, that's fine. That's fucking here now. I haven't quite got up to the crease yet. Yeah. Chris grabbed all of his notes and went, we're not going to hurt each other, are we? No, <laughs> no when, it, when it got to the just what, by the what crease. What was from your nightmares, Vic? What was from your nightmares, mate? Was it a smock product? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Bacon lettuce tomato vampire said it's pigment density. Oh, oh nice. Who's a clever bacon lettuce tomato vampire then? <laughs> 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 fucking brilliant that name, you know. <laughs> it's an asshole. <laughs> you can always count on Tony on, to come up with some crying on. Spill. Spill. His onions are told as two pennant weight and as well built for some reason. Oh, here you go. Bach inks apparently tattooed people in colour. It's not that big red fucking um, dildo vaping implement, is it? What? No, he got rid of that. He got rid of that ages ago. The, that great big stupid hooker pipe thing. Yeah, he took that to a battery bin last year. Hello, Simon Rogers. We don't want to know what you Roger, but hello. Hi, <laughs> right, say. Conway. Hey, Conway. How you doing? The Yamaha FX was a cracking bit of quick. Conway, I never received Conway. whatever it was you were sending to me, if that makes sense. I never received it. 
Uh, so, there you go. Uh, back to the show. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got a gap between the bottom of the to fill in the crew. Oh, hello. Good night, Bunny. Hi, Bunny. So, is someone Bonnie. filling bacon, lettuce, tomato, vampires, crew, please? <laughs> 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 uh, Duke, it was 160. It was meant to be more, but I got a discount because I went to school with the laddies and mate. Mates rates. Yeah. Dirty discount. Hey, it's cool now because I've logged it and stuff. He said, anyone who comes in and says they've seen your video, I'll get an hour's worth of tattoo time for free. I was like, yeah, go subscribers. <laughs> 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 well, if I lived anywhere near you, I would, but I don't. And no. He does online, so yeah. <laughs> Jay, is it only me and you then in the chat who haven't got a tattoo? Or have you got one? I ain't got one. No, I ain't got one Do either. Do you know why? Way. Why? Because I'm a fanny. <laughs> I haven't got one because I just can't think of anything that I want to write. I've seen a couple pod. of things I wouldn't mind having, but I'm just such a wimp. Well, what I've, what I've done with this one, there's, you obviously can't see it on camera probably, but there's a, like a mechanical mod, and yeah, on the serial it. number is the shop opening date. Oh, so I I it. Am I still low on the microphone, am I? Yeah. I don't know why. don't know. You fall usually fucking loud. I don't want to turn it up too much. Yeah, Chris, you like your rock music, but it's it's a long time ago. Uh, a fella called uh, the Rollins band, Henry Rollins. Do you remember him? No. Check him out, mate. You'll love him. Like, he's a proper, like, sort of cool dude. And he was the first I've ever seen. He got his birth date, you know, on a barcode, no tattoo on oh, the yeah. back of his neck. Yeah, yeah. But he was the first to do it, like, you know what I mean? Good bands, check out, Chris, the Rollins Isn't band. Isn't that what thing he had? Who? Isn't that what, um, oh, what's his fucking name? Gary Newman. Didn't he have something like that? I don't know, his friends were electric, though. Oh, fucking hell, they get worse. Do you spend the week thinking these things? Like no, these no. things just happen. <laughs> <laughs> if I could think them things all week, I'd be locked away. Dave, I <laughs> love that, the way you talk about your internet. He's more, have I missed anything? My internet is up and down like a prostitute knickers. <laughs> <laughs> On pay night. <laughs> Henry Holmes is fucking not a musician and actor too, totally. Andy Summerfield, well said, yeah, he certainly is. Uh, not a fella you'd want to get on the wrong side of me, I don't think, to be honest with you. Henry you know? Rollins, that, that name does ring a bell. No, that's Quasimodo. I went out with a man who had Made in England around his belly button. What? I pissed myself if he was conceived on the fucking continent. Chris, I thought you meant you then, I was no. getting a bit concerned. No. <laughs> I thought, so he does like Joe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, God. Trying to get Joe out of bed at the show. Oh, my God. Even when he hadn't had a drink, he just doesn't wake up. I remember you told me about this uh, once before, Chris, when you went to the Big Bex. Well, he's the type of fellow who can just sleep through fucking earthquakes and everything. One of the guys guys woke up. All right, see you in a minute. One of the guys when he woke up one morning in Birmingham, full force punched him in the leg and he just rolled over and carried on snoring. That was the one you told me about, yeah. yeah. Even the wake-up calls from the hotel room didn't get him up. We had to get a key and let ourselves in to wake him up. <laughs> uh, I'd love to be able to go to deep sleeps like that, but them days are gone. Uh, I used to be able to sleep for England. I used to have medals for sleeping, but <laughs> when you get to 506, it just doesn't work. <laughs> It's fucking chronic, honest to God. You wake up through the night for ever, you know what I mean? Like, that's just not good, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> now, uh, Bunny, I think he's recovered now. Yeah, he didn't play me for a lot of it, though. <laughs> Hello, Kane Johnson. You just reminded me I will be nipping off for a Guinness shortly, like, to be honest with you. A little cheeky one, you know? It's Friday. It is Friday, after all. <coughs> yeah, what's that? Uh, Gringo. Gringo stars in the room. Not a bad drummer. <laughs> uh, what's he put there? Henry Rollins was Joe's. Um, I can't read. What's happened? Henry Rollins was. Oh, right, it's okay, yeah. Ouch, chair scene. Ouch. What chair scene put there? Tony, just watch Liverpool play football. That'll put you to sleep. Air scene. I might just put you to fucking sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Less of that. Do not ever do that to my team. <laughs> Only messing, I'll love you. Uh... No, Vic, you're not, an, you're not allowed another week off. No. Universal really balance needs to be last night. No, I haven't showed up much. Well, have you been off there? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't resist that. Um, <clears throat> that's me, if I had a favour ah, with Vic. Okay, Ben. Bill. Bill. I just got Ben. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> not Bernie Bill. There's Bernie Bill in the house. <laughs> 
Só tem a dar que queres estar a dizer para aí. Não, já vê que não havemos outra week off. We need Universal Order to be restored. We do. Uh, the fabric of the world is unraveling as we speak. Vech, Mac Beetlejuice, return to your post immediately. I haven't yeah. checked um, Thingy, my videos to see if they've been not family. Speak of the devil. What? Good evening, Vech. <laughs> Hold on. Hello, Victor. Let me mute everything. There we go. Let I'm back. What's happened to your head? It looks like fucking dust on a ping pong ball. What's going <laughs> <you doing> there? <laughs> 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 what the hell? Well, you lost I've... that fight with the lawnmower, didn't you? I did actually, yeah. <laughs> I've I've been fucking at it all fucking week. Ah, yeah, you poser. <laughs> He's on one tonight, Vic. I've told you. Yeah, he is. But I've been at it, I've been at it all fucking week trying to get some get some organisation in this room, and when I pull out shit from the shelf, more shit falls in from behind <laughs> it, including this thing which I completely forgot about. Ooh, oh fucking hell! Oh, the wow. fucked up Cyberman. That completely cool. fucking forgot I had this. It's not cool. It's a pile of steaming yeah. shit. It looks cool. <laughs> it looks cool. Yeah, but... it, it looks good on the shelf. That looks like something that the indoor smokers would have invented. <laughs> <laughs> the Kanger Tech Drip Easy, the biggest failure this. I didn't even review this. The That's on par with the fucking uh, the other thing, isn't it? The fucking uh, the thing that goes outside your fucking door. What's it called? Basically, thing that melted. Glass bottle. And it's, it's a perfume bottle. Yeah, it is. It is. Trouble is, the pipe kept popping out when you try and squonk with it, and it just fucking sprayed juice everywhere. It's can't get attacked, it's meant to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's on par with that fucking bulkhead, the fucking dingo for us. I remember the thing that melted. Oh, where's oh, my? Oh, yeah. That was a fucking disaster, that thing. Oh, Vic, well. did you get the package? I got the package. Yes, in fact. Hold on. <laughs> if I can fucking find where I put them. Look how neat the shelves are now. Mm. That's a nice chair, that isn't it? Da, 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 da. The it's package. A, it's a talking chair as well. Seth. Ah. ah. Thor. My precious. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think nice. you're. I think the way this is lining up, Kev, you're going to be the very last <laughs> e-liquid review on the channel because I'm not doing e-liquid reviews and from. Yeah, I'm red. Baby, history that. Are you stopping them all together, Vic? Quitting them all together. Don't have the time for it. Yeah, I see you're inundated with the hardware, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See all that? All that little lot sitting right there. Yeah. That's all the tanks and drippers that came in over the past two weeks for review. Oh, wow. Very good now. Yeah. Hello, Vic. Yeah. Here's all the hardware that came in for you for me for the last Thank fucking two years. Thank you for the bits and pieces, mate. <laughs> yeah, I sent Jay some bits and pieces along with the along with my dead squonker he's going to fix for me. <laughs> I'm gonna pimp that out, yeah. Thank you very much. Much appreciated and unexpected. Thank you. I've got a few new toys actually. I got that thing from Wizard. Oh, the uh, I like that. It looks one of really them funky. There. I got one of them. Oh, that's really funky. I'm the only person who wasn't sent one of them fucking things. Well, one as well. the yeah, Tesla's got a little bit of a story behind it. I was probably a little bit of a bastard at the show. <laughs> I was standing by SMKD and Vinny and Dino and all that are going, oh, look, we're all using our Teslas. I, went, I wouldn't know. I didn't get one. <laughs> so, the Meet fella's, your cousin. Well, the fella's standing there from Tesla and he went, what do you mean you didn't get one? I went, I didn't get one. And he went... Well, why not? I, went, I don't know. And then for some reason, I went, when you got like 35,000 subscribers, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, 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 and, guessing, and, and, I'm guessing, Chris, you've got a thing against scousers, you know. If well, you want to prove me wrong, SMKD, send me fucking one now, okay? I got one. There you go, if you want to see what I got. Look. Yeah. Good luck with that, because that is a good pipe, but it's a proprietary fucking tank. Yeah. You can't do nothing with it. Yeah. Vic, you got it's that, fine didn't you? for what it is, though. For what that it is, is a cracking little mod, Chris. I can't, I can't wait to play with this. Wasn't it you, Vic, who said the battery life was excellent on there the as well? The battery life in that thing is phenomenal. Yeah. I only got the mod, though. I wanted the tank to see what the tank was like, but... Tanks I'll put aren't a ready yet. Isn't it? Nah, tanks aren't ready yet. They're still putting them through the TPD checky things. Yeah, because this, this comes from Gearbest. 
Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I put a cleats on it. Hey, Scuba. Hey, Belinda. I'll show you one thing I got in, though. Hello, Scuba. That's. <laughs> Oh, oh, you oh. bastard, you got one. I fucking oh, love nice. that thing. I got the funky. I Ooh. love the funky. Ooh. Oh, where is it? What? It's fucking cheap as chips, this thing as well. Isn't it like 40 quid or something? Aye, 40 fucking quid. Yeah. Cheap as chips. Cheap as chips. I'm yeah, really enjoying this, though. This little fucking aura RDA, Daniel's done a fucking cracking job. Daniel, oh, what's it like? Job in that order. I'm waiting for me uh, Rebel. Good name and own boys, Rebel, the new dripper. Oh, yeah. I'm well, waiting on I'm waiting on heathen sending the dead rabbit over for review. Uh, yeah. I had an email from a Chinese fucking wholesale uh, Chinese company the other day. Yeah, you know you get these things, the new products they've got. I can't remember what they called it. It's a dead rabbit clone, but they've called it something else. It's the dead rabbit in the description, but they called it something really funny. I gotta find it now. It's fucking brilliant. Have they called it the dead rabbit? It's something like that. It's something really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's something really stupid. Where is it? Where is it? Dead. It, they called it the dead rubbish RDA. Oh, God. Dead, ru- dead rubbish. Let's oh, oh, see. Really? Uh, Hello, dead, we're in China. I love Chinglish, don't you? I have actually. I need to do one, one there. Mod that I never got round to getting, and I am going to go and find one and buy one because I just like the look. Of it. Do you remember the old? Uh, oh, it's not that old now. The EH Pro 101 thing. Like oh yeah, I'll get one up here. Fucking on. hell of a cute look. It, I just like the clean look on it. It looks really nice, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. It's all the cave on at the top. We've got Kaifen on there, good boy. <laughs> Cracking little mo- it's Cracking crazy. Little- it's, it's not a clone, but it's 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 loosely designed off the Danny 3. Yeah. But yeah. this is based off of. Yeah. Kylin. Lovely. I will raise your Kylin. The version 2 as well. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, shove that with the sun don't shine. This, play, this fella rocks. Yeah, no, no. This is a far better tank than any of those. What's that? It's the Asmodeus Valuna. Oh, oh, yeah, the Valuna. Uh, Sit on top of my Jeep Blast. Oh. Is that on single or dual? <laughs> uh, the Valuna? <laughs> dual. Fucking cracking tank. Weeks like fuck when you fill it. Just ignore that part, though. Cracking tank. <laughs> oh, we'll have ten of them then. <laughs> <laughs> just, just when you fill it. Close it slowly. If you close it quickly, they leak. I just, I just turn it upside down for the final yeah. screw. <laughs> yeah. well, I've, I've actually uh, a few giveaways to do on the channel. Come on, I got that's still sealed. I've got one of the Revenger kit. Oh, the Revengers. I like them. And they just yeah. sent me one for the fun of it. I've already got one. The tank, the tank's a bit in there, isn't it? But blue ones. Are... It's a it's a the mods are fucking, the mods are fucking nightmare. It's there's a one, finger just one magnet. massive fingerprint man. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking when they made that between plastic. It looks Designed like a phone. by Scotland Yard, by the sounds of it. Uh, I get my G Class soon, hopefully. Touch wood. Touch scuba wood. loving the G Class. I'm also loving this. Oh, you bastard! That's the. Paranormal. Yes, I am a bastard. Thank you very much. <laughs> I love the paranormal. It's fucking gorgeous. And I like. Get a cocoa. <laughs> get away from me, Sam. <laughs> yeah, only, only only that what that paranormal isn't a shit scouse fucking psychic. <laughs> Do you work for SMKD? <laughs> yeah, the new colours do look good. Hmm. No, the guys oh, from yeah, Tesla no, were quite there. Well. What's that? Ooh. Oh, you got the inbox. Nice. Oh. I didn't even think I was getting this in. I thought I was getting the paranormal. Not the paranormal. The um, Lost Vapes coming out with a new yeah. squonker next week. Apparently, I'm not getting it. I'm getting the VT inbox instead. Oh, well. Vic, you may sway influence on this one. <laughs> Try and have a word with these fucking manufacturers. No, they're bringing out new squonkers. Can you bring them out with dual battery setups? They have done. As there's Modus a is new the one. Works, they <clears throat> they yeah. have done. There's one coming out from Asmodus, and there's another one coming out. From Lost Vapes bringing out two squonkers. One of them's going to be a single battery mod, and the second one is going to be based on the paranormal. And hate Cigar are doing a twin j- job yeah. as well, apparently. Yeah. The problem yeah. is, the, the, the biggest issue is, squonkers have generally been smaller mods. Yeah. yeah. There's the, the ones that came out before that had dual battery back in 2016, they never sold because they were too fucking big. Yeah. I knew where you were going this year, Vic, and I'm just going to preempt that by saying, why doesn't someone take the style of the Wismec Gen 3 and where that third battery is, put the fucking squonk bottle? They did. That's fair. Yep. Absolutely love it. Yeah, but take away the third battery and put the skunk yeah. bottle there. 
The That's drone did that, didn't they? The, the drone, drone did do it, yeah. Yeah, the drone wasn't a big seller, though. No. What was the other one? What was that other one? The, was it the Movkin Disguiser? That was huge. The the disguiser the, the disguiser was a fucking house brick with a tank on top. It was a squonker with a spare room for a small family in the bottom of it. That was the one we that was the one where they come with a forklift fucking truck, didn't it? Was a fucking... <laughs> it was, it was it's going out was... for the beep, love. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna fill this yeah, up. Trip box one sixty, yeah. Box one sixty from Kanga. Yeah, but that squonked all over you. You pressed the button and it went, ha, oh, I can't attack. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't that stupid thing with the fucking yeah. perfume squirter on it. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. talking about you're talking about this. <laughs> that fucking oh, thing. <laughs> it looks cool. It looks, it looks like something out of some alien film that they inject your neck with, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> if, if that's like something on Blue Peace, they would have gone, listen kids, we want you to invent a fucking squonky type thing, you know, and the kids draw a fucking thing, they go, oh, that looks fucking great, that'll win that, yeah? <laughs> an, fucking empty, useless. an empty fairy bottle and a roll of fucking celery. There you go. <laughs> don't forget the sticky back plastic. Yeah. And don't forget, use round edge scissors. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Get down, chef. Fuck off. Go on. Down, chef. Yeah. yeah, I've had a fucking nightmare of a week. I'm not even halfway through this. I've barely even touched those shelves. Uh-oh. Barely even touched them. It's been this... That's, that's, that's the goodie shelf with all the vintage It's been this fucking nightmare over here that I've been messing around with. All of that. Damn. I found... I hey, found... mate, at least yours is fucking tidy. That's well true. I found... <laughs> yeah. this, I found... this, this, this is organised chaos, mate, because if you look at the desk... Jesus! Chris, psst, psst. Chris, Chris, what? we'll empty his fucking shelves for him tonight, okay? Thanks, <laughs> one. You know it's bad when it gets to the stage where you're finding mods that you had earmarked for giveaway that you forgot you actually had. Them ones there says made by Julie Caesar and Co. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Completely that forgot to fucking add them. New from Joytech, the slate. <laughs> Straight out of the arc. <laughs> But no. yeah, I'm I'm never gonna get this finished by next week, so I'm gonna have to start. I'm gonna have to slowly clean all the way through next week as well. The problem Man's is, I, I clean the desk and it all looks mint. Then I'll do a review or something, and I make and it it's a little bit up again. Yeah. And then I'll and then I'll have to go and do stuff around the house or go down the shop, which is now closed. By the way, it's gone. It's done. It's finished. Um, so it's sort of like that sorted. Yeah. And it's sort of like, and I don't get five minutes. <laughs> You know when you're doing a review and you do the hardware bit and you move all the stuff out of the way of the shop while, yeah. you, while you're doing the review, you get the box yeah. out of the way. The box just stays there. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. It's, it's fucking yeah. right there. Yeah, that's what I do. I do the same. Yeah, yeah. That's, the, that's the biggest thing. I, I won't throw boxes out for mods. Because I like to keep all the bits in. Man, I've started taking over the PC and everything. They're all over the top of the tower. They're just everywhere. <laughs> I'm starting hey, look, to get more. Look who's in. HR Puff and stuff. Hello, Dalom. Huff and Puff thing. Huff and Puff and stuff. <laughs> what? For people old enough to remember, HR Puff and stuff's in the room. Huff and Puff. Imagine trying to say that when you're drunk. Okay, now let's say that if you get a save it. Huff and Puff you in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, right. Scuba, I know, I know, I forgot to clean the tank before I did the fucking green screen for the copper vape. So there was me giving it the floaty head thing, and then there was copper vape behind me, covered in fucking fingerprints and e-juice. <laughs> Fuck! Hey, yeah, Vic, I believe you've gone all omnipotence, haven't you? Um, um, that was scary. Floaty <laughs> head reviewer. <laughs> it was just this, his preview, I just imagine him like on like some floating carpet, just like, and then this was huge. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of tomorrow, Tomorrow's World, the old one. <laughs> it's, got yeah. it's got that sort of feel to it. The yeah. best one, though, the best one was when you did the first little clip trying it out when you were like, blah, 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 on Facebook, because the tank was just wobbling. <laughs> yeah. like, leave wobbling it wobbly. Place, leave yeah. it wobbly. It's brilliant. <laughs> leave it wobbly. You know what I'm using for the spinny thing? You lot probably seen this over at Expo. One of those little solar things, yeah. They're cool. Oh, Five pound right. off of eBay. Yeah. Fucking cheap as chips. Love these things. Is that the one with the lights in it? Yeah, it's among the lights, but the lights need a battery, which I didn't bother putting in. Yeah. No, my my desk at the minute it's starting to consume me mic and everything. There's just like you. Know... Vic, do yourself a favour and get yourself a piece of um, like you know like sticky back plastic mirror. Yeah. Put that on yeah. top of the perspex because you the perspex know. is reflecting 
the light a bit weird. You know what you need, or Chris? You need a bigger out. desk. That's what I did. I just got a bigger desk. I yeah, had to so get bigger shelves. Bigger desk, but the bigger desk, it fills up. <laughs> and I got all of this, and then I got this, and then I got all of this as well. Can I help Kev's in fucking NASA? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. My desk's meant to be bigger, but I'd like to make it smaller to fit it in the room. <laughs> I've got one of them very cheap spinny things here, Vic, and it doesn't require batteries. It's called a fucking hand. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> no like elitism it. here. <laughs> you, can't, you can't spin it steady with your hand, though. That's why you need a little stand and a little light cabinet thing. Oh, yes, you can. Why do you think I'm so popular with the ladies? Oh, <laughs> 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 right, so I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna go get me G glass. G glass. <laughs> Do it for a Guinness. Yeah. Do you know someone at the London Vape Show asked me asked will come over and said, "Will you sign a can of Monster for me?" It was a white one, and he's put it on a <laughs> shelf. That's fucking cool. Removed last night's dinner. And me present off Dino was a can of Relentless. Nice. Oh, he, actually, he did give me. Um, where's it gone? Dino very, very kindly gave me. Oh, dot mod. Oh, nice. What dot mod is it? It's the Petri V2 light. Nice. Ooh, very nice. Oh, and it's in blue as well. You dirty bastard. Very nice. Wow. Well, of course, because Dino doesn't really use Max, right? It doesn't. No, he doesn't. Well, he came over and was and basically said, "I want you to have it." I was like, "Are you sure you don't want any money for this?" And he was like, "No, I'm sure. Take it." Get a review out for that because there's, there's not many reviews out for the Pet TV too. There's not many out there. But uh, I think Dino was probably one of the funniest people to be around. For oh, so man. dry, isn't he? He's so dry. Did you see him on the live stream for Vape Finder? He no. went live on the mobile on Facebook, and Tom, who obviously runs Vape Finder, he goes, "Oh, hold the phone a minute. I've got to um, I've got to order at the bar." So he gives it to Dino. And Dino just puts it to his face to like have any people alive and just goes, I'm really enjoying myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it, but he was pissed as well. And there was there was some <laughs> there's some fella with like balloons walking around. And then a girl comes over and she had like what was meant to be a hat, but it like broke out of all its like ties and stuff. And he goes, I'm talking to a girl with some sort of micro penis. <laughs> <laughs> And he's live on Vapefinder's account. <laughs> this is quality. <laughs> but no, he was he was funny, and he's got you know he's got this like ability to catch like funny things that happen in the background. Yeah. yeah. He gets his camera out at the at the beer festival, which was downstairs from the event, and as he spins round, there's a fella completely out cold on the floor, but still holding his pint. <laughs> <laughs> Manchester's about an hour and a half, two hours, isn't it? Drive from. From Liverpool, isn't it? 40 minutes of that. Oh, yeah, it's 40 minutes. It's alright, it's because I've moved down here. I fucking forget how far everyone it, where is, like, back, down that way. Best way to get to your shop from what? Flights to Aberdeen to Liverpool. Uh, if you fly into Liverpool, it's a taxi ride. It's 15 minutes in a taxi from Liverpool Airport. It's, like he says, Manchester's only 40, 40 minutes drive away. Yeah. it's When you come out to the Liverpool Airport, it's just a straight <laughs> drive down one of the roads and it, yeah. you'll come on to where we are. That's cool. But now Dino was he was hilarious. Some of the things he was coming out with, he was just so on the ball all the time. Yeah. Yeah, he is like that, isn't he? He is. But he's so straight faced and dry with it. Speaking oh speak of the, the devil. Literally and devil. He oh, hey, Dino. <laughs> Dino. We won't say anything bad, anything bad, honestly, Dean. No, he's he's fucking work. funny. <laughs> the guy is hilarious in person. <laughs> Onions in the house? Dino, you know, just telling the guys about when you had all of the uh, the phone on the live stream for Vape Finder. It was just so good. <laughs> the, the, the Nick, the American guy, that Daily Vape TV, he's, he's holding his hand out. He's going, I, I don't know how English money works. And Dino's going, the big ones were that, that the little one. No, they're the little ones. Other little ones. That's what yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, someone said something funny, but. I'll have to say it off air in case he ever watches this. One of the companies, it was brilliant. So how did you how did you find the vape finder thing? It was it wasn't expo. It wasn't even oh, vape no, jam. It's not near the size of expo. No. It was expo quiet. Exactly. 
I don't get why they did business to business every morning, every day. That was mm. an odd decision. Yeah, because people did business Friday. Anyone who didn't really do business on the Friday morning sort of carried over to Saturday, but then Sunday they were just like, let the public in. And Sunday was the busiest day. Sunday was yeah. the busiest day? It was oh, packed. But one of the reviewers, um, the best E6, the woman, yep. um, oh, yeah. she was there. And she made a, a vlog and she made a good point. Um, she didn't realise that you could get like a reviewer's pass or ask for a reviewer's pass and they were like black and things. So she just got a general blue visitor's pass. And she said she walked in with her boyfriend who was a smoker. Now, the smokers, it was really good what they were doing. If you give your ciggies yeah. in, they squash them, give them a pock X. Yeah. Do a bucket of water and over them. It was a bit stupid <laughs> what they were doing, but fucking hell, Tony. <laughs> because they were giving them a pock X and then regardless of what how many a day smoker they were, they were giving them a bottle of three milligram. Oh, three milligrams, like, no use. It's not going to work. But no, the, the girl who was walking around, Bestie Sigs, me and Dino bumped into her and said I and things, and she made a good point, and she said it on her vlog. Um, she, when she walked in with a visitor's pass on, she walked over to companies, and she basically said companies didn't really want to know who she was, they weren't interested, and the minute she said she was a reviewer and showed them a YouTube channel, they instantly Ping. changed and spoke to her. Yeah. 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 So... Yep. What's wrong, really? That that reviewers anyone. that reviewers round table booth thing that was a good idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a good idea. G glass, that's the one you want. Yeah, oh, no, G -glass. you want this. Yeah, that's what you want, Tony. Yeah. I'm getting one soon. Yeah, stop it. <laughs> getting a blue one. No, whilst I want one, I am saving up for a Kodama. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'd love to get my hands on a Dominican Kodama. Yeah, Andy oh, Saturday awesome. was very quiet. The afternoon was was really quiet. The thing is, I don't get this as well. Obviously, it's in London now. Where this show was, as we were walking from our hotel, there was like Bentley, Lamborghini, Porsche, Bentley yeah. all over the place. There was people coming over to the stand and going, "I want you to juice." I was like, "We're doing a twenty pound with the nicotine shots, just flat, all in." That's a good deal. Well, people were standing there and they were going, "Can you not do anything with that price?" It's why, do you think got, why do you think you got fucking Bentleys, Chris? Well, <laughs> you don't fucking spend it. I was like, it's 100 mil, and then on the Sunday they were going, 20 pound for 100 mil, so in the end I just lost it. I went, it's just fucking won an award, what more do you want? So here's the question, Chris. Was it worth your while as a company going? No. Nope. Ooh. Really? We what didn't hardly sell anything. Again? You don't. You, you hardly sold anything. No. See, going as a company for the connections, yes, because we've made a, a lot of connections with wholesalers, distributors. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> winning the award clearly was worth going down for. Yeah. Um, but public, no, it was like a car boot sale. They were coming over, going, "I'll give you ten pound." Well, it's twenty pound. Well, I'll give you twelve pound. It's not fucking eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Next question: Are you going to get a stand at Expo in May? Done. Already paid. Good boy. I, I quite like the sound of a car boot sale full of Bentleys and Ferraris. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's something I want to see. <laughs> no, well, um, I'll, be, I'll be excellent. I'll be there. We got the award, and there was a lot of trouble that happened after it was announced yeah, with that. certain companies that make a certain flavour similar to mine. Um, yeah, I've seen your post. Well, we got the floor uh, plan through for Expo. This. Well, we got the floor plan through for Expo, and I'm next to them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put the award on a stick and just put it round the end of their booth. Just <laughs> <laughs> look at what you could have won. No, there was the things that was getting said. The deal, the award got announced, and there was things like how the fuck are they won? They're a shit company. He's a fucking YouTuber. What does he know about juices? Things like that. He's a fucking YouTuber. What does he know about juices? Jealousy is a fucking bad thing, man. And yet that same company was sending See, their yeah. electrodes out to YouTube reviewers. <laughs> Yeah, what, what the, uh... yeah, I was about to say, Chris, when, when you said you know, about that whole YouTuber thing when we were talking in private chat, <clears throat> I was just like, but people send stuff to YouTubers to make sure their juice is actually good. Yep. Yep. And I would have thought being a YouTuber <clears throat> is the qualification you need to review juices and we give it a better insight on making your own juices. Yeah. yeah. Well, when they were leaving at the end of the weekend, they put a box of their juice on every single stand and then got off. So they didn't sell many then? No, well, Tom come running over to me, the from Vape Finder, because I had to obviously go on stage, and he come over and went, have you had Monster? I went, yes. He went, don't say anything. <laughs> 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 he was like, you can say a little bit, but don't go too 
far. So I was like, no, nah, it's fine, don't worry. And then I come off the stage and he come back around and he went, is it safe to come out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, Aiden, yeah. I, I heard about the guy getting his bag nicked. And yeah, Daniel Littleworth. Oh, did you see what was in it? Yeah, oh. there was a lot of nice stuff in that bag. Purge mods, stuff. Oh, Dino, I like sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Sausage. But he had a, he had a couple of uh, low serial number mods as well. Yeah. Ooh. Number six page mod. Yep. Number six page yeah. mod. Yeah. Fucking hell, that is low. One's lower. P Ben, I make it myself. It's my recipe. <laughs> Good news, yeah. Dude. But you'll probably find the first five were kept by the manufacturer. That's usually. That's what usually happens. Yeah. 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 Well, one guy bought one off page, and it was zero zero zero, and he spent a lot of money. That'll yeah. be the first run. That'll be the very first run. There was first... one guy that it was brilliant though, because Paige were next to us. So I was speaking to the guys all weekend and things, and a guy comes over, and he's like, "Oh, I've got yeah, I'm into me Paige mods. I've got about fifteen of them. I just like the way you do this." And I like, and he was, "I've never seen that one before." And he went, "Just explain this mod to me." So he goes, "It's got the engraving down there." And he goes, "You ain't got a Paige. You got a clone." <laughs> <laughs> And I don't like to pose, like, but I've got an ego with seven digits on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would mean the show was... It blows up. <laughs> the show was good. It was very small. You could walk around it in five minutes. Five, ten minutes. You could be polite and say it was intimate, or you could be unpolite and say, was it enough? It, the thing that was nice <laughs> is the fact that, obviously, taken from the reviewer's side... Anyone that came in that was either a smoker or not too sort of with the whole industry, all the vape finder guys are like, go and see the reviewers. You bring them over. They're like, this guy needs to know this. And anyone that got a starter kit, you bring them over and be like, right, sit with these guys. They'll set it up to show how to fill it, show you how to use it. And it was quite nice because they quite said yeah. like at the end. Yeah, I like know. that. That's a nice idea. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think it's ever going to rival uh, the vape expo, is it? No. It might do. No. No, it won't. I can't see it. Not yet. I mean, if you think about it, logistically wise, it, Vape Expo is set in the best place for everyone, eh? Yeah, yeah. it's in the middle, isn't it? Is it and, fuck? And, 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 and that's the success of it, really. I mean, it's, I'd love it to be in Liverpool, I'll be honest with you, like, but that's Mr. the success Viking, of it. Mr. Viking, are you going in, mate? Get Hopefully. your ass there. If I, can get, if I can get a time off. I was supposed to be going there this year. Uh, what was it next time? Yeah. 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 I can't get a time off work. I can't do October. I'm going to try for May, though. I'm it, it's this bad because my, my sister's wedding is in October as well. And it's literally like two weeks before yeah. Expo. Oh, fuck. And I can't get the time I've worked for that either. Vape Cat helps the no. one, but Vape Cat, that's true. <coughs> no, it was, it was for the whole personal vibe. You know, the personal vibe. You could talk to vendors. Um, the, the DJ was a little bit loud, but it wasn't too in your face. Um, Didn't he complain about his music getting broadcast or something, Chris? Oh, yeah, I, I could put my vlog up and it was four seconds of DJ Khaled, so it muted the whole thing. Ooh! I was like, great, so I had to well, re-upload like it. like his tunes being on? No, I, I, I've never seen this one before. This was like, if this doesn't get taken down, then potential legal action can be taken against your channel. Yeah. I was like, I've never seen that one before. <clears throat> What is wrong with these people? If you think about it, it's promotion for But the them. thing is, when I uploaded the, the video, I didn't even put ads or monetization, anything. I just uploaded it standards because I knew what was going to happen, and it still happened. It'll pick it up from the audio track. Yep. It automatically scans it, doesn't it? Well, this one, there's a new thing with YouTube now. You can actually click, replace, and it's meant to just mute that section. Yeah. It muted the whole thing. Oh. So I was like, Ouch. brilliant. Mm. That always goes on, that does, Devil. Yeah. What, what do you think that like, YouTube and the artists uh, who take these actions would like use a, a, a modicum of, of, of sensibility about this and say, do you know what, as long as you're not playing the full track, yeah. they're actually mm. promoting someone to maybe listen to something you wouldn't. seconds or something you can get you know? away with it, you used to be able to. Mine there. was four <laughs> seconds and it picked it up. Well, you know, instead of like suing the ass off people or banning the videos, if it's only a little segment of it and not the full song that no one can copy and make money yeah. out of, you mm. really you should just say, do you know what, this is good for you, lads, let them play it. Well, the thing, the the thing is, song. like, I deliberately didn't put, I, to turn a little ad thing off and didn't do anything deliberately, and it, it still flagged, but this was a completely different one. Usually it just says um, copyright infringement or something and a little blue thing, and you, you, it still goes up. <laughs> I clicked on this one. 
and it basically had to say, have you read this? Have you accepted this? Before I could do anything else on that page, and it said, should you not take this off or replace it, your channel could suffer from legal action from this guy's legal team. Which means he doesn't want any of the music at all being on YouTube, full stop. Yeah. No. It's funny that I never get that at all. You know, on a sound check, my videos are all them George Formby songs. It just never fucking happens, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had, on my early videos, I had um, ACDC as my intro fucking for ages. You could do yeah. it years ago. I never had it. Hell, I've got the grandstand theme as my intro. Yeah. 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 Oh, I've got Corn on half of mine and CKY on the other half. Nice. Mm -hmm. I was going to use the blockbuster theme. <laughs> I love but that theme. Please, Bob. But yeah, while we're yeah, I'll have a vape, please, Bob. Vic, I know you got hit with the whole friendly family bollocks. Oh, yeah. so did I. Yeah, you got hit as well. I got it on one video, and that's the one about telling Diego Stani to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> that, is that is going to hammer a lot of reviewers. Is this Poor mainly old Nathan happened... Logan screwed? Is this mainly happening for like profane language, or is it like sort of the fact that it's vape? That it's happening. Almost... It's happening mostly for profane language. I yeah. would, I would love to have a peek at vaping bogans. <laughs> he's just See, gone bankrupt. Well, he's <laughs> got a um... because because bogan. I love bogan's reviews. He's hysterical. He's brilliant. Yeah, but he's got that thing now. Is the way people can subscribe to the monthly payment thing? What's it called? Yeah, Patreon. Patreon. So Patreon. he's he's got that. Yeah, there's a lot of reviewers going down that road now, Patreon and PayPal. Like, people were saying to me at the event, they were going, you must be making thousands on YouTube. I'm like, I wish. Nah. <laughs> nah. Two years I've made ten pa uh, well, a year and a half I've made one ten pound fifty. This month, 64 <laughs> quid, that's it. Yeah, yeah. and you can't take it out till it hits 60 quid, can you? No. I haven't seen a cat of them yet. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm clearing about, I'm clearing about six, I'm running about the same as Chris, I'm about... Because Chris's videos are generally shorter than mine. The problem I've got is I've got a tendency to ramble when I review, so the review goes on for fucking 30 minutes, and everyone falls asleep at the end, like Tony's doing, doing just now. And I look, it's all about video length and how much. Yeah, yeah. It's not It's not how many views. It's how many minutes have been watched. watched. Yeah. The longer the video goes on, the more drop-off you've got and the less money that you get. But people like Rip Tripper, with their 800, almost 900,000 fucking subscribers, tens of thousands of views, and little short 10 minute reviews, yeah. he's making yeah. a fucking fortune. Yeah. You know for a fact he is. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't know if this was a bad thing or not. I was walking around a couple of the stands and I did the whole walk around with just like you can see what I was seeing and the whole walk around talking to people, which some of it was distorted with the audio. Psycho Bunny actually gave me two of their juices and went, just swear at them. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like brilliant and then some guy comes over with his camera and um, was basically filming and stuff and he said I want I love your videos can you just like swear for like 30 seconds or something like, you can't just do it off the <laughs> should have just done Brian <laughs> I got asked like that. so Chris, many times Chris you should use the emergency procedure and hang on mate there you go. How about that? I got asked so many times for the Stewie voice. <laughs> oh. Standing at one of the, uh, the the Malaysian stands, he said they actually got it on video. He said, "Can you just pick one of the juices up and say it?" Because it's got like a cartoony box thing on. Yeah. I was like, "Do what?" And he went, "Do the Stewie voice." And I was like, "Really?" So next thing, get it up. Goes, "Hello there, Brian." The next thing, <laughs> it was like four or five people around it went, "Do that again," and he started recording. <laughs> But no, the reviewers booth was cool. It was it was nice to um to just meet people in person and have a yeah, good a four or five hours until I nearly got nicotine poisoning from two hundred juice tests. But they should they should do that for Expo. Have a big reviewers booth next next year, and then yeah. about two hours later, we'd all be rolling around having a fucking wrestling match probably. Yeah. But there we go. <laughs> well, one of the That's things <laughs> there was a chat going on so that we could stay in touch because we were all in different hotels and stuff so like Tom was basically saying we meet here this is where we're going we're doing this and Vinny say vaping a lot uh, auto could have kicked in so you know vaping for file. yeah uh, okay. we call him Poggy yeah uh, is auto could have call him Piggy so <laughs> <laughs> we're at the awards ceremony and he's trying to, he, he asked him he said you know would you read the announcements so as he said yeah me and Dino were standing there in the back and go Piggy <laughs> I, I did say to Tom you, you do know that was not a good idea giving us free drink <laughs> <Just> no. 
Poor old Joe was glutted on the Friday, wasn't he? Eh? Yeah. Oh, well, we got to the hotel and the accountant came with us because he does work for other people down in London. So he said, I'll come if you want to buy anything. I'll have the cards with me. So I was like, okay. Get to the hotel bar and the guy goes, do you want to leave the card behind the bar or just open a tab? So we're like, yeah, yeah why not? £300 later. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wasn't, wasn't, the accents, wasn't the accents a clue not to do that? <laughs> We're renowned for a couple of things here in Liverpool. Drinking is one of them. You we know? got the accountant pissed that he double tipped the hotel staff. So when we went in on the um, the Saturday night for tea, there was like little bowls of crisps on like the table, so that like, you could just like pick before you ordered your food. This hotel bar staff come over. He was like, "Here's some free cokes. Here's a couple of bags of crisps. Just like putting them all on the table and stuff. <laughs> just thinking we were going to spend loads again." What are you going to say? He said, "Here's a couple of bags of coke." Say, <laughs> <laughs> How much did you tip him? <laughs> Joe was hammered. Joe was hammered. He, he just... Oh, I think there was 11 or 12 pints of Cronenberg we had Thursday night. Each? Yeah. Fucking hell. Yep. You just taking it easy. What was wrong? It was a free fucking bar. Well, fucking it was... Hell. It was The bar tab on Thursday night was about £310 and a pint was a fiver. So you can imagine how many we had. <laughs> no, no, no. Fuck, a pint was a five. See, that's one of the reasons I didn't go down. Everything's fucking expensive in Greater London, and it, it's like Greater London when you get into the Greater London area. Prices generally triple compared to Scotland. When you head closer and closer into the centre, it's like quadruple, five times, six times the cost. Five pound for a pint. And when you hear your accents and you're a northern monkey, they go up to fucking seven times what they should be, I tell you. You should have seen the hot dogs that they were serving in the place. There was this woman who looked like she didn't want... She was probably like a smoker or something. Looked like she hated vaping. She was getting these sausages out and going, seven quid. But did they just half cook them? I was like, yeah. Six ninety five. for a hot dog. Yeah. Oh, my fucking God. No. No. Was it hot there, man? Was it roasting? Because last time I went to Olympia, it was fucking. It was no, it was it was cold because all the trick teams and that from Page are getting pissed off because they're like doing all these fancy hours, and then every couple of seconds he just goes. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Kev's eyes lit up when you said Olympia, then Jay. <laughs> no, it was the air conditioning and that. The, the actual, I think, because it wasn't that busy, the yeah. extraction could handle the vapor. It was yeah, getting rid yeah. of it, but if it was a little bit busier, it wouldn't. So was he Joe the Cyclone instead? <laughs> Did you see him on the video? He was completely com- smashed, but his hand stayed perfectly straight to do a I trick know. outside. I've seen that in the vlog. No. I don't know how the fuck he managed that. And it's outside. He does them outside. Yeah. I can't even do them in a sealed fucking room. You know what I mean? <laughs> what fucking all, let alone do fucking tracks. No, what, what I said to someone, who, a couple of people coming to the shop, they said, what was the show like? I, I basically said, if you wanted a mech or Malaysian juice full of coolada, vape show. <laughs> What's he doing? He just no. looks like he's got some rare disease. <laughs> Ab- an abject failure, massively. Fuck you know. That's the thing when you're 506, being a V granddad doesn't work, you know what I mean? No, I, I was looking for, like, I wanted to a new Hexome or maybe a nice squonker or maybe something like a Stabwood mod or something. And yeah. I was walking around and it was basically smock that weren't selling unless you wanted the 9 million pieces yeah, of like Malaysian juice or mechs. And that was that? Yeah, there was there, there was a couple of different stands. Like, but the one that won um, best booth, they launched their company the day of the show, Ooh. and it was cool. It was called Vape Dodo, and you had some dodo thing on the stand oh, that you pressed the button oh, and cool. the dodo vaped. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> so, in theory, it was a great idea. The practicality, reality of it wasn't that good. Then, now it was a good show. I mean, they, they did put on a good show. They had some good companies there, but I think it was probably advertised too late for it to people to have been, you know, it needed yeah. longer. Not only that, but the, if they had done it last year, they might yeah. have had a better chance, but the problem that Vape Finders got is there's another expo on the charity one for Telford that's yeah. on next yeah. week, yeah. and then you've got you've got the October expo coming up as well, and we're just recovering from the one in May. Yeah. Um, I, I, if it was the US, I mean, over in the US, they've got fucking millions and millions and millions of vapors. There's enough expos to cater for everyone. But in a country the size of the UK, I think we could be getting to the stage now where there might be one too many expos going on. Mm. Like I said a couple of weeks yeah. ago, there was one in Devon. There was one in Devon? Yeah, it was a one-day event. One day. Riot, uh, Riot Squad were there. 
um, front line over there. Everywhere. <laughs> and I didn't know about it until the day it was happening. Ooh, I be a dev and vapor, I vape all of the day. <clears throat> and it is, uh, I can't remember where, so it was North Devon area, and I couldn't get up there because I was working. All right, Telford's meet is tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah. that is that yeah. is way too close together to the one from Vapefinder. Yeah. Yeah, there's like a clutch them all too close to each other, and you know. And that's right, Andy. The Vape Fest was the week before. Yep. So that's like three expos in a row. Yep. Fucking yep. hell. Andy, yes, I agree. There was a lot of strawberry juices, but I think everyone's gone grape crazy as well. I went well, to I like one stand that was grape, grape, grape menthol, grape this, yeah. grape. You know something? I can't stand grape flavours. They all taste the same, like burnt plastic. They all taste like grape, you mean? <laughs> no, you know, remember them fucking twist top fucking uh, drinks you used to have when you were little? The yeah, the little five yeah. penny ones. Yeah, you twist the top off. Twist it. Yep. They all taste like that, that chemical fucking grape. I love that vampire, but Riot Squad show for the opening of a fridge, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Vampires get a point. Vampires get a point. Riot Squad show up for everything. Yeah, that one is... That's yeah, enough for the fucking opening of a letter. Fucking hell. <laughs> got to hand it to Riot Squad, though. They know how to fucking market themselves. Yeah. yeah, not just that. These fit in a fucking Nerf gun, so you can have a bit of a laugh. <laughs> Jay, look at this one. I have a Nerf sniper rifle. Oh, oh You need some of these, dude. Get them in it. <laughs> well, it's actually got a working bolt. <laughs> and, go. cool. and a grenade launcher on the end. <laughs> And then you can split it and you've got two. <laughs> <laughs> no, right there. What's no? I want to get one of them and fucking do shit to it, like spray it a different colour and stuff. I'm just a big kid. There's a guy on YouTube actually that sprayed the Nerf gun the colours of the Mass Effect weapons and they look really good. Mm -hmm. Is that, oh. someone did one with a fucking counter on the top as well, didn't they? Is that yep. the same guy? The pulse rifle, the alien gun. Pulse right, yeah, they yeah. did the yeah. alien gun. A gun with a fucking shop counter on it. Who'd be a bit fucking <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, grapple and slap current is fucking the best out of all of them. No, we um, I had to when I come back. I was saying to like the guys and stuff, they were going, we didn't make that much money, and it's like, but this was the first show, and we've actually gone there. We're lucky enough to win the award, so that's gonna sales increase. And then Birmingham. I would, I, I would hazard the guess, Chris. This it's mainly for networking purposes, isn't it? We made a lot of connections. We've got a yeah. couple of distros wanting to take it, so it's just negotiating the yeah. price. Yeah. But, do you like lemon pie vapes? As long as the lemon's not too in your face. It isn't. What I'll do is I've got a, I've got a full bottle of that. Concentrate. I'll send, it when, I'll send it when I send your mod back. It's tart to citron, so it's like a French tart. It's nice. Oh, Very nice. Kev, you need to try this. Send me some then. It's, yeah. it's... I got the one bottle and I already even, I'll ask for another one. It's lemon, lime, grapefruit, blood orange and guava. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah. That sounds nice. Is it available over here yet? Yeah. It's only out in Canada and America. It launches at Expo in the UK. Nice. That sounds right on my street. I like shit like that. I like fruity vapes. It's, well, I've had it since... Desserts and bakery. Tuesday? Like desserts and bakery. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that's almost got it. It was quite funny. Bakery and Guinness. Well, 12 Monkeys weren't meant to be at the London Vape Show, and he, he walked in, and one of the guys came over and said, 12 Monkeys are over there. Just asked about you. I went, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it was the UK team as well, so it was quite cool to speak to them, guys. Chris went, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, are up. Yeah, have we got a code tonight? Oh, yeah, sure. we got, yeah, we got a code. Yeah, three six nine eight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for those of you who don't know, we are in association with Higgy Six. Uh, to say thank you to us for saying that once a week, they give us a fifty percent off code to give to you. How much? Fifty <laughs> percent. <laughs> Which is fifty percent off site wide, apart from Aries coils. Please hairy don't blame Aries, it's not just off. <laughs> I'm not going to do the usual question crap. If you haven't had Higgy Six before and you want it, just say yes. The first person to say it will get the code. And no fucking piffing. <laughs> yeah, no piffing. Don't say yes if you don't want it. Vape Hunter, I haven't, I'm not even halfway through it. He's getting there, bless him. He's getting there. <laughs> Look at Grimmy, 5th o'clock. 
Typical. I like that. Aiden's had a bit of a problem spelling yes. <laughs> BLT vampires now hooked on Tropica. That's binary for fuck. Yes. <laughs> Either that or it's 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 fucking keyboard fucked. <laughs> oh yeah, Dom. 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 Dom, if you want it. Say yes again. I want it fucking confirmed. Or Say woot. Give us a woot. Give us or a woot. Or the juice dumb. Oh, we haven't had a woot for ages. Yeah, Come on. Give, give us a woot. Or a hoon. Give it a hoon. Ooh, hoon that woot. Hoon it. it. Hoon it. <laughs> hoon it. Let's all hoon together. It's <laughs> keeper I need to win from Vic so I can send him random. Uh, that's one thing I did. Like, <laughs> Do you see that Tony the, on the video where we got the GoPros and he all vaped at the same time? Oh, that was good. Though. Yeah, yeah. I, got, yeah, I, was I like, did like that. That's that's the common denominator of a fucking vape event, isn't it? Yeah. Everyone's got a vape. It was like a vape version of the meerkats, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know yeah. what though? The free shit gremlins were out in force. Oh yeah, you, you get that in every. Oh, actually. they were even worse than normal though. There was like someone who come up on stage, like they were accepting an award, and they're just like bloody bloody. But you got free shit, yeah. I say, can I have some free shit? I've only got a Bentley and a Ferrari. <laughs> some woman's actually on stage. She wasn't NNA because I spoke to them and signed up and gave them a little donation and stuff. Um, but there was another woman on stage talking about zero milligram potentially needing testing soon and France wanted testing and they've already received like paperwork to say it should be tested and stuff. And some guy's just standing there on his phone going blah, blah, blah. When's the next giveaway? When is it? When's the next giveaway? It's like, you need to listen to this shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, Tom has piffed it to little bro. Right, Aiden, it's yours. Fucking hell, you're having it now. <laughs> the code, yeah, Kerry, just, just, just send Aiden the code. Yeah, send Aiden the code. Yeah. And Aiden, get some of this. Oh, oh that that a yeah, that's a nice juice. That one. Sweet. Do you know what? I'll just raise that with. I like the peanut butter buster one. Was quite nice. That's nice as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one, where is it? Um, it's that nice I've lost it. It's because you vaped it all. Vape sneak. <laughs> yeah, it Anyhow, it's the Neapolitan one. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Neapolitan ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now that is lovely. And I've got to try that one this week. Sure. Uh, Expo. Which was, yeah, it was sure. Expo last year, the May one last year. I tried a Neapolitan one from a little Malaysian company. And it was absolutely spot on. I don't like stuff like that, but it was spot on. It tasted. Yeah. Oh, and I finally got fluffer mint on the way. Hey. Oh, Gwen's fluffer mint. Yay. Let it no. steep for an extra week when it gets there. Oh yeah, yeah. I always leave them for a week. Yeah. That, that Neapolitan, no. Oh, fucking lovely. What's the flavour profile on Gwen's? Is it mint and something? It's a it's a peppermint candy. peppermint candy cane basically. Yeah, yeah with yeah. marshmallow. Yeah, the marshmallow. Nice. Ooh. Very nice, good palate cleanser. Mm. I need to try Eddie's Ram as well. That one's raving about Oh, that. Harry's Ram is good. Um, oh, what was Eddie's Ram again? I've forgotten. I'm not watermelon, watermelon, strawberry, strawberry. raspberry, kiwi, and, kiwi with a touch vanilla. of vanilla. Yeah. Oh. See, the watermelon's what put me off, but it sounds really yeah. good. People are saying it's good. The so. vanilla puts yeah. me off because <laughs> you don't even. The, like the watermelon's that. not too like chemically. It's actually really yeah. nice, and it's not too strong. And the vanilla's a really nice back note. See, I find watermelon to be very fucking bland, I'll be honest with you. I think if you're doing a watermelon, you've got to add a bit of honeydew to it, just to give it a bit more of a, a, a nicer taste. Honeydew's lovely. Mm. Well, you know, you just get just one that's just watermelon. Yeah. It's well, it's yeah, just yeah. Yeah. chemical as well. It's only... useful as an ashtray on a motorbike. You know I, mean? I, don't like, I don't like watermelon vapes at all. <laughs> 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 just mix it up. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. Watermelon. Oh, it just doesn't doesn't do it for me, Vic. It doesn't do it for me. LSC steam pudding that you sent me, Colette, is fucking stunning, and I wish they still made it because it's fucking gorgeous. It's spot on. I think I was spoiled when I got introduced to custard vape, and I never envisaged myself in a million years saying, "Oh, what are you vaping there? I'm vaping a custard." Never had a custard flavored cigarette in me fucking life. You know what I mean? <laughs> However, <laughs> that was a revelation. Custards when I got introduced to custard yeah. vape. Tony. Oh. Amazing. Tony, go if, go. if we ever perfect the recipe, we're still working on it. I'm yeah. going to have to send you a bottle of this. What's that? Come on, throw, just 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 throw, just
Oh, no, it's not going to. Butter toffee coffee. Uh, butter toffee custard. Ooh. So basically, like what is the original custard? A BTC? BTC. Not to be confused with BLT, Bacon Lessers, t- uh, Tomato Vampire. <laughs> Did you ever try that one, Vic? The steamed pudding from LSC? No. Um, <laughs> Lancashire Steam Company. It's already been released. It, it was released jonks ago and they cancelled it because it um, they couldn't get any more of the concentrates because one of the concentrates companies had gone. That's probably why they never sent me it for review then, if they cancelled it, because normally they send me out, they send you out the stuff just before they release it. I've got a little bit left from the little bottle that um, Colette sent me, so when I send you that stuff up, I'll send you it to try. Because <laughs> they don't make it anymore. You yeah. know, um, remember the old like summer pudding, but imagine a suet version? Yeah. yeah. That's exactly what it tastes like. Oh. Yeah, it's fucking like crack. <laughs> oh. It is. It is very, very nice. I got one of these. Can't get it anymore. They don't make it because they can't get the concentrate. Some of them. I've heard plenty of good things about the LSC. I've never tried any of their gear, mate. but I'll have to get some, you know. Never mind. Vic will back me up. You tried their tobaccos, didn't you, mate? Yeah, I've tried. I've tried all the juices. I've never had a problem with any. I've had a couple of disagreements with the mix, but I've never had a problem with the flavour. Wasn't the only one I didn't. The only two I I didn't like personally that I've tried was Boggart's Breath because it had like aloe vera in it. Yeah. What? what? Yeah, it's got aloe vera flavour in it. No, the fucking name. What was that? Boggart's, Boggart's Breath. Breath. <laughs> Is that from Middle Earth by any chance? Yeah, it's, no, all, it's, it's uh, Lancashire, isn't it? Boggart. It's Lancashire. Lancashire. Boggart, Lancashire. And the other one was um, the toothpaste. Uh, the toothpaste is up. You couldn't vape it all day. Not the it's toothpaste. It's very weird. Yeah. It's once very, of a morning, once of a night before you go to bed. <laughs> but their tobaccos, the Sabden Snout, is probably the closest cigarette tobacco I've ever Sabden Snout was absolutely spot on. And I'm a big tobacco fan. The Sabden like a, Snout it, is It reminds me when you open a fresh deck of B&H cigs. It's the smell yeah. of that in it. It's spot on and gunpowder I caned a hundred mil bottle of that in about two days <laughs> stay away from Lancashire, the Steam, Lanc- Lancashire Steam Company is one of the old companies yeah been yeah. around for a long fucking time bloody now. geniuses with their mixing their mix masters long they time. are mix masters yeah, you're right, they're very established, aren't you? I mean, when I started uh, vaping years and years ago, you know, the world was in black and white. Uh, <laughs> they were one of the first ones you've seen, and I still haven't yep. bought any. I, I the, o- the, other ones, the other ones, if you want tobacco, is the Druid's Brew, their stuff's quite gorgeous. Mm. Druid's Brew? What's that? Druid's Brew. It's, uh, they've got, got three flavours. One's, um, one's a tobacco. Well, the, there's two of them are tobaccos. One's a menthol tobacco, which is Snow Queen. And the other one is Bread of Heaven, which is like a Barra Breath, which is a Welsh fruit bread oh, uh, with that. tobacco. Barra That's breath. really nice. <laughs> Barra breath. Mm. Yeah, um, it's a bit got like a bit of a malt loafy sort of like yeah. edge to it uh, with the tobacco in it. Mm. And then the third one is based on Ras Malai, which is called uh, Crow Black, which is like an Indian dessert with like cream and cardamom and cinnamon and all sorts of stuff. Mm. I got one in today. Yeah, yeah fucking like seagulls. Shh. Oh, seagulls. That's me. Chris, you've moved down by Kev. What's going on? <laughs> Don't know what's going on. Yeah, I got some juice in today. Uh, Jay, one of them you might like. It was um, whippy ice cream with wafers. Oh, that but sounds it, nice. It actually tastes like it. But the only thing is, and I'm probably going to have to mention, well, I am going to have to mention it in the review. 10 mil bottles. You look on the back of the bottle, it says 50 mil on the label. Oh, dear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The only way that could have got better if it said it was a 10 mil bottle and it was a 50 mil bottle. That's the bottle, own brew. And then if you go to the back, see if it'll focus in. Does that mean they're making 60 mil bottles with 50 mil of juice in them? And they've just shrunk the That's label? probably not going to focus in. Yeah, they, they, they probably the designed one label. It says on the bottom there, 50 mil. Or <clears> rather, they probably got someone to design one label and then just yeah. could be asked to pay them again. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, gents, I'm going to pop off. Oh, I do. Nice one for well, coming up. I was having a break from cleaning this fucking disaster zone. Look, look, Thanks look, again, matey. Fucking beds covered in boxes, <laughs> tanks, fucking mods. I've got all that to sort Waiting out. Waiting for all the everyone to shout, dibs, dibs. <laughs> <laughs> this disaster zone in here, which you can't really see right now. Hold on. Now, that's the giveaway shelf, and then there's that little lot behind me. Although it's kind of clean, but there's still a few yeah. mods in there to get rid of. And then there's all that. And, oh. Vic, you're going to have a very uneasy kip tonight with all that stuff on your bed. <laughs> <laughs> Every August I do this. And this has got to be the longest time I've spent doing it. 
Oh, right, they're just a sample bottles, the 10 mils. But you have, like, a lot of stuff in this year. I've had a lot of fucking shitload yeah. of stuff in this year. And I've had me. fuck all this year. <laughs> <laughs> and last year. <laughs> Probably next year as well. <laughs> anyway, I will see you gents later on. Thank you. Nice seeing you, mate. See you, mate. Ta-da, that. He's gone. Oh, he's a cracking fella, isn't he? Eh? Yeah, right he's, right. Right. he's a top bloke. I have to admit... Everything that I've been sent since I've been sent since I started vaping has been really nice. Yeah. Everything that I've brought since I've been reviewing has been pretty shit. <laughs> oh well, um, Les actually come over to the stand because I was working on the stand at this point, and he said you've got to go over to this company. There's a company called Aurium or Aurium or something like that. Hi, Becca. Um, the oh, this. Hi, Becca. Hi, It's basically oh, lemon tart. Postcard. Well, one of them's called um, Strawberry Milf instead of Milk. I just heard the Benny Hill theme when I seen that. That one, which is the lemon tart. Yeah. And you've got this one, which is a Twister Lolly Ice. <laughs> but it's bang on Twister. But Les come over to us and he said, You've got to go and try this. And I've told him <laughs> you'll be honest. So it goes over and he goes, I said, Les has sent me over. He goes, Oh, yeah, we told him about it before. So he goes, Try this. This is the one he wanted you to try, which is the lemon tart. It goes like that, as a couple of vapes, and went, do you want me to be on, like proper honest? And he went, yeah, of course, of course. Went, there's a little company called Dinner Lady, that shit's all over their lemon tart. And he went, here's a bottle, review it. <laughs> 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 and then I gave him one of mine, so he brought me a twister over as well. But that stuff is gorgeous, and it's got like a cracked out Johnny Bravo on the bottle. So, thank <laughs> you. But Strawberry Milf was, yeah. <laughs> they do a Rice Krispies one as well, which was like um, AV, what's it called, AV Avid Treats, hmm. but without the fuck ton of sugar loose and <laughs> sweeteners and stuff on it. I've just been reviewing some of this stuff, uh, I'll be going up shortly, uh, and I've got to be honest with you, for like, they're not a premium juice, but they're quite I've good. I've seen that label before, what is that? You got uh, e-juice? Yeah, yeah, hmm. yeah. And to be honest with you, they don't claim to be premium, but it's good swag, you know. I'm quite impressed with that, Lee. I'm not sure how I feel about e liquid companies calling themselves premium anymore. Mm. No, they don't. They don't call themselves premium. That's what I'm saying, and that's what I quite like about it. They don't make any like sort of ridiculous claims. In fact, yeah. their, their strap line is uh, making it afford, making vaping affordable for the masses, or something yeah. like yeah. that. Which I think is something that people need to pick up on. I you thought know? that said so, something else. You something. I thought that said something else. Then. You've got mail. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, as you open the bottle, you have mail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got babe. <laughs> but um, that Milkman stuff I reviewed the other week as well, that's quality. I wasn't too sure about that because, you know, the high VG content, it's like 99% VG. Yeah. And I thought the taste might have suffered as a consequence, but you know what? Good swag, that, you know. Hey, Kevin, well, no, I got you some... You just have uh, to concentrate, don't you when, you, when you make it higher VG? I got some baby hush, too. Baby so hush. Cute. Yeah, 20 mils. Well, 15 mils. Tom brought them down to the shop and gave me one of each one, so I'm going to put them on the shelf. <laughs> They're so cool. Ickle hushes. He's bringing, um, I think there's new flavours coming soon as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Tell Tom if he has any new dessert flavours. <clears throat> no, unfortunately not. Oh, not in the hush line, anyway. Not in the hush <laughs> line. The hush is all oh. like fruits and stuff. Let me take that back. Don't fuck off, Tom. <laughs> Don't fuck off, Tom. <laughs> No, but I, I mean, I got, I've, I've just got juices that I don't even know who sent me them. They keep, they keep turning up. I got this line. It's like mangoes and strawberries and stuff. But it turned up the other day with nothing in the, in the envelope. I, I don't know if I've spoke to them before. I can't find out who makes it. And it's a bit like, oh, okay then. <laughs> Might have been someone at the uh, thing. Yo, Chris, the vape finder thing, do you think? Possibly. Uh, possibly. Possibly. But, uh, I think he's in chat now as well. Uh, what's his name? Huff Home Puff or whatever his name is. The DM yeah, HR Puff and stuff. Look at oh, this. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. That, that is one year old steeped lemon lush. <sighs> he gave me that much. I don't even want to vape it because he had a big bottle of it. And he just went, Where's yeah. your dripper? Try that. And I was like, Chris, oh my god. You should have got your tattoo done with that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's, he reckons it's about a year old, but the one that he had was about a year and a couple of months after. And it was. 
he said just drip that and I was like yo give me give me give me I'm always a bit cautious you know when it changes colour to that level uh, of what's growing inside that bottle you know what is going amazing. inside that bottle you know it's probably better than a stick though isn't it oh yeah yeah of course yeah without a doubt but uh, I'm always a bit cautious you know what I mean if I tend to have stuff which is like sort of even six months old I'm a bit apprehensive you know what I mean and it's, it's it'll be fine at six months like you know what I mean I mean Kev told me to uh, start using this stuff again and he was right uh, this uh, mad pancake oh yeah and, and that's quite old but in actual fact it's still nice and tasty you know what I mean yeah. So maybe I'm just a little bit too cautious, I don't know. The only thing I've ever worried about is um, some degradation to nicotine. Yeah. Mm. Mm. But I don't have nick anymore, so I don't have to worry about that. Mm. Are you zero nick now, Kev, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I vape zero nick quite a lot, to be honest. I'll just put a little bit in just to make it sort of like a 1 or a 1.5. I've started yeah. to come down a little bit, especially after the weekend when we were testing all them juices. I was, it got to about... Because the juice tasting was only meant to be like two hours max. Mm. We started at half eleven and finished at half four nearly. And I was like that. I, I was like nearly having to go home. I was like really cold sweats and things. And I was like, these aren't zeros. In fact, one of them, we were at to, basically, there was the juices. We had to finger test them, smell them, then vape the bar favourites, get them down to like the last one or whatever. And I got this one in particular, put it on my finger and it burned straight away. And I said to the guys, try this. That's, that's not a three. That's quite a high nick so Chris, that statement you said I thought you might have been in Soho by mistake there you know <laughs> <laughs> well um, gave the bottle back to one of the guys who obviously went and checked the number on the bottle against what it actually was one of the girls came back and she went that's a 12 milligram ATVG Ooh. I was like who wants to vape that no one yeah. <laughs> well it's starter juice isn't it in a fucking ego mm. isn't it <laughs> but ATVG oh ATVG yeah yeah that's high, I don't think I've got any in, any um, incentive to jip the nicotine. Oh, nice one, Mark. It, it's not doing you any harm, is it? Like so. No. The only time I, I was to do that was if we go to shows and you chain vape a lot. You vape for the yeah. sake of it, so I drop mm. to a zero quite quick. That would make perfect sense, Chris. If you're gonna bladder it all day long, you don't want to have like sort of a mad head. You know no. what I mean? Yeah, I've just found I I got so low because we got to the point where we didn't have a lot of neck here. Yeah. And I was sort of just putting a, a few drops in. And it got to the point where I was just like, well, I don't really actually need it. I can go an entire day without vaping if I want to. Yeah. I don't because I enjoy the flavours. Yeah. So when we relaunched, I thought, fuck it, I'll go zero milligram with everything else. Hey, Vapor Lights. Hi, guys. Hello, Vapor Lights. Hey, Vapor Lights. Hello, Vapor Lights. Oh, yeah, they've got the new size bottles out now. Is it 80 mil? Yeah, 80 mils. 80, mil, mm. 80 mils are out now. Roy, I didn't get to try that. Gummy, dude, no, I don't think so. Was it any good? I don't know. Like vape delights are coming down to our vape meet. They're doing a giveaway thing at the vape meet on the 2nd of September. Oh, I'll have to see if I can get to that, Chris. Uh, I meant to reply to you, you know. Um, I shall find out uh, tomorrow. Hopefully. Well, we've been granted the magical piece of paper. That means we can actually sell alcohol at the event if we want. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to make that. But have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> That could get messy, Chris, you know. Well, I won't drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's amazing, Chris, to think it's been a year, isn't it? Crazy. It's a year on Sunday, the 20th, we opened. And what a year, by the way. I'm not blowing smoke up Chris's ass at any stretch of imagination when I say this, but what a year, what success you've had, and well-deserved, I might have. Yeah. Worked hard and got the job done. I just want to have a sleep. <laughs> I just want lots of sleep. sleep. You can sleep when you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I just... No, I mean, like, in the space of a year, Chris, if you think about the, the growth of the channel and the success of the shop and then getting that award, you know, for the best juice now, I mean, I think it's mind-blowing. You must be, like, just sort of blown away completely, you know? Every time people keep asking me about it, I just keep saying it hasn't sunk in yet. Like, it's, it didn't sound real when they were announcing it. Like all the guys, it was quite nice because when they announced it, I was with all the reviewers, like all the guys around me. Obviously, Poggy's announcing it and stuff, but it, Piggy. It, Piggy, yeah. <laughs> um, he just starts reading out best overall juice. Now, obviously, my juice was in best dessert, best custard, and best overall. I thought, fuck it, why not? Put it in the overall. Um, and he started reading custards out, and I was like, yeah, I, I, I don't expect to win. If, it, if anything happens, if it comes second or third, then that's an amazing achievement. 
Um, so custards, I was like, yeah, Sam. Desserts, so I was like, yeah, not bothered. I congratulated everyone. I was like, you know, because we voted for it. Well, I didn't vote in that category, but the same. So congratulations and stuff. And then the overall one come round, and he went third to second. And when he said first, he said EVC. And I was like, no, oh, anyway. When he said Empire, I just was like, what? And all the lads just, like, jumped. So it was it was cool. It was unexpected, and it was nice. And it's... But that that's like the icing on the cake for the year. That was the first year of Empire yeah. Vape, uh, the yeah. channel and the shop, and then that was the icing on the cake. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? And I have to say, uh, anyone in chat, I mean, I know, I've known Chris for yonks now, like, and he's a cracking fella. And I would just like to say, well done, Chris, and you deserve all them accolades, mate. Yeah. You know, well done, mate. Well Cheers. Done. Well done. But yeah, on to the, on to the next year. Now on to the next shop. Let's get that going. Get the next juice line out. It's not going to stop. Oh no, it's all fucking downhill now, Chris. Yeah. You've had a year, that's it. It's over. Yeah. Wrinkles, <laughs> surgery, balls. Yeah. No, I'm sure you'll go from strength to strength without a doubt. You Shane, know. yes, let's not forget. Big boy coils is in the room. They're right, they're always here. They're never far away. Big me coil coils. builder. That guy that keeps Shane, is it, yeah? yeah, that guy keeps me in coils, thank you very much. By the way, did they tell you how much I love Shane? Shane's a great fella, you know. His coils are brilliant, you know. <laughs> I I've don't, got... but that's why I'm saying he's a great fella. <laughs> There is Fuse Clapton's. Oh, they look tidy. I'm going to have to try some of them. What's the inner, inner diameter on them? Shane. <laughs> <laughs> he sent me oh, Fuse Clapton's. 2.5 or 3.5, isn't it? Or 3. I think that's Chris, threes. your answer should have been no to inner tube. Yeah. <laughs> no, he sent me Fuse Clapton's. I think there's staggered Clapton's and some other things. but. Three, yeah. Thanks, Becca. You're meant to support me. You've done all right, I suppose. <laughs> You got a fucking diamond out of it. <laughs> yeah. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, well, vampire. Sure just, one. Bacon, yeah. lettuce, tomato, vampire. Just said, well deserved. Hell of a standard to maintain in the second year. <sighs> Tell me about it. I know. Mm. Now, to be fair, she's in the chat, and it, it, obviously it's all soppy and stuff. But Becca has always been behind me, and she's always supported me. And to be fair, you know she's boop, she's boop, my fiance boop, for a reason. So. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, <laughs> I've got to be nice to her, I suppose. But no, she does. She has supported me a lot, so you better be nice. And she's downstairs. She come up and baseball. Well, there is that. No, she was. Uh, for people who don't know, Becca was one of the people that was there at half two in the morning the night before we opened, stacking vampire vape onto a shelf without bacon, lettuce, or tomato. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, that was that night actually. We we stocked all the stock and put all the stuff in the cabinets and things. And um, one of the lads went, oh, we need to do Vampire. And I didn't realise that if you don't order at least 20 of every flavour in Vampire, that it just gets mixed into a box with random yep. flavours. Yep. So we went, we'll leave that till last. Opens it and went, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> and don't forget, Chris, I done my bit. I mean, I, I sort of sweated buckets. I was there the next day for the opening. Yeah, you were. Now you were. I appreciate it. <laughs> the, the opening went stupidly good, to be fair. That, that was the scariest thing was opening that door for the first day. Yeah. And just seeing them... <laughs> But I remember when I come down to the shop, and it's out. For people who haven't been to Empire Vape Co, you need to go. Uh, the actual, it's very stylized. I mean, a lot of vape shops look like they're just being thrown together. No disrespect to any vape shop, you know what I mean? What you yeah. can see, there's been a lot of effort into the style of this to make it stand out from the crowds, you know. Uh, and also, what you've got is the stylized shop, all the good gear and that, and of course, people behind the counter who love to vape and will help you. When you come in, and I know that's what it. they're fucking that's talking about. Exactly, yeah, it's the com it's the complete package. People, if you're in Liverpool, go down there and check it out. Uh, you will not be disappointed as well. And by the You've way, tried the rest now. Try the best. And, and by the way, Chris is as mad as a box of frogs in real life. So you'll enjoy his company, you know. And I've just pressed transfer on that money to Tony's account. <laughs> yes. Cha-ching. Cha -ching. Cha -ching. I love that BLT. Behind every successful man, there's a psychotic woman threatening if he doesn't succeed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know that one. The thing yeah. is, though, the channel's getting bigger and the Becca's eyes are getting bigger, so like things come in and she's like, I'll just take that one. Just, oh, you got that. I'll just take that. <laughs> and Kev's thinking, I hope my missus can hear Chris saying that. <laughs> no, she, she, she already has pants. All right. No, honestly, what Shane's saying is prices are brilliant and his coils are spot on. Well, yeah, they do. They do a sexy chicken sandwich next to the shop as well. Delights, yes, they do. The guy next door to me, he's an individual business that makes food, and he makes oh. the best chicken burgers in the world. 
the oh, there you go, double bubble if you go to this shop. You can vape and get food. Happy days. There's potentially something coming up that the guy is selling up soon. Um, and I think he's there for another nine months. It's with the same company we rent our shop from, so we're potentially going to see if we can get that, knock a hole in it, and have it open it out into like a big lounge and coffee area and all that kind of stuff, and really take over the block. Oh, good yeah. idea. Good idea. But any news on the second shop, Chris, where it's going to be and how fast it's going to happen? Or... The second shop, we've got locations for it. Um, Obviously, we had the show and stuff, but I actually had a phone call afterwards of someone wanting to take a franchise as well. Um, So we've got to sit down about that, but the second shop's definitely opening soon, yeah. See, what we've said about the franchise is I want to sit down, I want to meet them. If that name's going above the door, you are not having idiots working in there. It's not happening. Yeah. 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 yeah, well, it'll just undo all the good that you've yeah. done this year, won't it? Like, you know, but um, I'm looking forward to the second shot. It'll know? be cool, it'll be bigger. There's only more going on and things. I want to get the whole like couches and lounge thing going on, but not go too much. Like, some shops have got like pool tables, just go and... subtle. yeah. I just yeah. want to give it an environment where people can actually come in and sit down. Like, I was thinking of getting one of them testing machines so that people can sit and try the juice, then buy it as well. So, mm. but. <laughs> Oh, cool, Dave. Yeah, it'd be nice to see you again. I'll sort you a t-shirt as well. I will definitely have you a t-shirt for the second if you come down. Stupid suppliers. Yeah, bacon, lettuce, tomato, vampires, mistress is giving him a bit of a hard time there. He's trying to persuade it that uh, he's not actually going out to bite people. He's, uh, he's, going, to come down. <laughs> he's going to come down to Chris's shop and put the bite on Just him. Just don't come down on a Thursday because Thursday's my day off and so is a Sunday. But any other day is cool. And remember the fact of 50 because vampires don't do well in the sun. <laughs> Chris, make sure there's no garlic about it. Yeah. And no crucifixes. You don't like them. No, then the next thing to move on to is the show. I, I couldn't believe in the first year we'd actually done a show. We just got the opportunity. I went, yeah, I'll never turn down anything. Did I write before, Chris? You say you've got a standard paper Expo in, done. in October, yeah? Done, yeah. Interesting. That'll be good. So you're going to see both sides of Vape Expo then, aren't you, really? I think, like I was trying to say to the fellas, that show, it was only its first one. It wasn't much people. I went, prepare to have a lot of work to do in Birmingham because the amount yeah. of foot traffic. But Yeah, yeah. yeah the footfall is going to be like 10 times that, isn't it? Like, you see, the thing, I mean? the thing with me as well, you've got to sort of split yourself in half and it's hard to do because you've got the booth to look after, but I was doing the whole reviewers thing and trying to do the vlog thing. and trying Well, to, uh... Chris, uh, in May, if I'm there and you're there, I'll come and help out with you for a couple hours on the stall if you want, mate. In May, if you've got a stand in May, yeah, cool. Yeah. Well, I let everyone put their bags behind our stand because obviously what was going on with the whole um, people getting the bags get robbed and stuff. I just said, put them all behind the booth. There's always someone here. Yeah. Mm. But it's, it's it's just just horrible. That guy who got nearly, I think it was nearly five thousand pounds worth of stuff robbed. Fucking disgusting. Mate. Did they not yeah. find anything back for him or anything? Um, I think Page, their mods are insured, so they've told them to send his serial number and his, his box off to their insurance company and they'll replace it. Yeah. But basically everyone else have said, yeah, tough. Yeah, yeah. Vape Delights just said it's fun though, no Vapor Expo. Yeah, it will be. Mm. Yeah, they're there anyway, they're on their own stand, aren't they? I can't see them. If you're there in May, mate, I'll come and see you, but I'm not going to October, sadly, I can't afford it. Vape Delights! <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure yet. I don't think I'm going to be the October one either. To be honest, with you. I'd rather happen. save up for May and go fucking have some pennies yeah. to spend. Yeah. See October. <laughs> if you see the floor plan for October, this thing's big. Mm. It's stupid. Like I was looking and I was going right. So that's last year. Oh my god, there's like another two halls. Yeah. Yeah, back and it's done. It was paid for the day after the show. We come back. It's done. By the way, she's asking you if you've got. <laughs> she should know. I can't even remember what I've told her. We did put a deposit down, but now it's it's definitely done now. So. Yeah, I think it's C ten or something. The booth number. Yeah, I think it's going to be next May. I think I'll be with Jay next May. That rhymes, by the way. Me and uh, Jay in May. Me and Jay in May. <laughs> I like how Becca makes it look like this for an option. <laughs> pretty much, Roy, pretty much. <laughs> no, this this expo should be should be fun. Like I said to the guys, I mean they they'd never been to a proper show before, they like had the accountants and things. He went, There's no queue outside. I was like, Well in Birmingham they have a room full of queues. <laughs> yeah. 
and it's not a billiards room. <laughs> no, it's yeah. I think uh, this one's going to be big. They sent up the plan for them and everything, and there's it's just stupid. See, I have a train of thought, rightly or wrongly, with the Vapor Expo. Uh, the one in May, I think, is more appealing because it's the first of the year, and it's where they bring all the new stuff out. And the weather pretty much is going to be half decent, isn't it? You know, yeah. the weather. You know, mm. I know you're indoors, but the travelling to and from places, if the weather's with you, it makes that travel a bit easier, doesn't it? You know? Yeah. Yeah. No, Becca's got her own charge now. She's got her own batteries as well. I saw that problem. <laughs> <laughs> I kept doing a Vic. I go to pick the mod up and it'd be dead, and you just did giggling going. I was like, for God's sake, yeah, another mod. You know. <laughs> so I've actually stolen her new mod. Because I'm going to review it. So GX24. Yeah. They're nice yeah, then. Nice. Very nice. I'm not keen on the stupidly glossy paint because it keeps slipping out of my head. No. Yeah, I did that as well. Like, yeah. And about, and about the mod, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the 2 4. 3 thing. This yeah, the 2 4. Yeah. So I have mine in I like 4 it in, between mode. In, in that mode, the nicest, I think. It's a I good think... mod. In theory, yeah, it's great you've got all that battery life, but the practicality of dragging that thing around the pub, yeah. You know, it's, it's, I don't think it's that much worse than carrying an RX. Mm, I wouldn't take an RX out with me, I'll be honest with you. Like, no, I, used, if, I used to take my RX everywhere. So. Yeah, unless it's this bad boy, you know, the RX 2 slash 3, <laughs> and then you can throw it in two battery form. Like, you know well, what you mean? can yeah. with that one as well. That in two battery form is really slim. This yeah, that, right, fair, fair, it's, it's, yeah. It's, uh, hang on, I've got the box. It's marketed as the smallest dual 18650 mod. It is small, yeah. Oh, right, small. so that's, that's... Uh, compare it to something everyone else has got. I've got nothing on the oh, RX. Very on, not bad. Yeah. 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 How is, is it light, Kev, with this in two battery form? Like, is it pretty light, or...? Uh, it's not heavy, but it's not crazy light. Right. Okay. Get one of them if you want lightweight. There's no weight in that at all. Chris told you, SMKD just don't like scousers. I haven't got one yet. <laughs> SMKD, if you're watching, prove me wrong. Come that on. battery door, when you take it off, it, you don't even know it's there. It's just a piece of plastic. So light. Yeah. I've, got, I've got a Pandora dripper that weighs more than the mob. Have you got one as well, yeah? Yeah, I've got one. i got one for review. Yeah, I want one. Yeah, it's only me and Kev. We haven't got one. Yeah, you <laughs> missed the, the email, didn't you? VUKN crew. I didn't even get the email, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were working that day, maybe. It was nice though because um, when I actually spoke to them, they were like, I, did, I wasn't doing, I was messing with them when I said like, you know, I should have got one. I was messing with them. You knew that, but the guy from Tesla was was so apologetic. He was like, "Give me your address right now. Give me a business card." And this came Monday, Tuesday. So he just said, "Look, dopey, I don't need your address. I'm standing in front of you. Pass me one now." Well, that's the thing. They weren't doing that at the show. They had loads of them, and he was like, "We'll send you one." Which is easier because you haven't got a carrier. Yeah, <laughs> true, true. But then they've got to pay for postage, haven't they? Should have said it the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Little bro, by the way, and um, Solo, we're going to Telford tomorrow. So let's give a little uh, reminder to people in chat about Telford's show tomorrow. Uh, guys, if you can get down here, it'd be a brilliant thing to go because it's, it's very much charity driven, this. Now, if you can't get there, there's also a just given site, which I'm sure Nightbot will throw up in chat in a minute. So if you can't go, throw a few bob on a just given site. You know, yeah, do what you can. I mean, if it's two, if it's two bob, twenty bob, thirty bob, tenner, do what you can. Every little helps, as they say. Like you know, but if you can turn up in person, that'll be brilliant as well. You can do both by all accounts. Do both, like. But if you can't make it tomorrow, uh, go onto the just given site and. Donate, you know, make someone feel better and make yourself feel better at the same time, you know, and have a little crack at that. And as I say, if you can turn up in person, that'll be great because Telford's nerves are shattered at the moment. How far is Telford from Liverpool? Uh, it's about two hours, Chris. Ah. Yeah, about two hours away. Yeah, yeah I, was, I, was, I was speaking to him the other day and he is wrecked with nerves at the moment about the show. Exactly. So if you can go, people, you'll be like sort of saving one man's nerves. <laughs> I may see if I can make it down. I'm working tomorrow, but I might see if I can sort something if it's only that far away. Yeah, I'm working tomorrow, so where there'll be no, um, unfortunately, there'll be no vape detector tomorrow. Sorry, guys. 
But I did explain when I said I was taking that on board that there'll be times when it won't be available, and tomorrow there won't be one. So. Well, you just have to do a makeup show next week, won't you? Yeah, I'll, I'll try and uh, uh, put a cheeky one in during the week, you know, uh, and then uh, a big couple the next Saturday. When you're not here, you should make like a slideshow of pictures and just have a game of Where's Tony and just have a little tiny Tony <laughs> somewhere and you can like flick through. Yeah, <laughs> a little pixelated. Pixelated, unpixelated, pixelated, unpixelated. <laughs> have you seen them Where's Wally books where there's like thousands of Wallies? Yeah, where's Rapey? Like, where's Tony? <laughs> just like in the middle of them, just a little somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so apologies in advance, people, for tomorrow. But um, as Kev said, I might try and throw a little cheeky one in during the week and uh, the major one next Saturday. Like, but I did explain that when I was doing it as a yeah. thing. You know, and I did, actually, that, I did actually enjoy half, watching mate. it the other way. All right, it's it's an right. hour and a half, mate. From, From Liverpool? Liverpool. Okay, that's not that bad. It's just on tomorrow, isn't it? And on Sunday. Just a one day event. Can anyone confirm that in chat? I think yes, it is just a one day event. Becca, do you fancy a drive? <laughs> <laughs> no, she'll say no now because if it's a charity thing, I'll feel like I have to buy stuff and just be like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's the thing, actually. Speaking about the whole charity things, I'm pretty sure it's the 25th of this month, little Jessica flies to Disneyland. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Flies or drives or something. She, she's going somewhere, but she's definitely going. Oh, it's all booked. Becca's giving the go-ahead. Hey. Where are you going? <laughs> oh. Depends on time. I'll have to see if I can sort something with the shop, but it'd be nice to go and support <laughs> Tell for these cool guys. So. Yeah, he's a, he's a diamond geezer, that lad. Really is. So as I say, guys in chat, uh, if you can make it down there, that would be brilliant. It really settles nerves. But if you can't, then just give them. There's been a link put up there. Throw as much in as you can. Uh, make you, make people be feel better and make yourself feel better by doing it. You know, uh, the vape community. We always rally to the causes, uh, as you know. Chris done a very good one. Uh, there's been numerous ones where the vape community. We are something special uh, when it comes to like sort of helping people out, not just charities in general as well. Like, mm. So, guys, step up to the plate, do your bit. I know I don't have to say that because I know you will. So, well done, everyone, and have a little crack at that, yeah? It could be cool if I can get to a 10 till 4. Mm, I'll send a few messages in a minute. Well, it's for a good cause, anyway. I've seen what, it's, what he's doing it for and things, and yeah, it is. Yeah, it's yeah it is. Right, guys, give me five minutes. Five minutes, we'll be going off in five minutes. Four minutes, 59, 58, 57. <laughs> Do you know vape and a chilled custard? Is that Andy Summerfield's new vape juice or something he's just released? <laughs> Don't chill. Nice them. one, there you go, Shane. Yeah, we'll do, Shane. I want some, um, yeah. some stainless steel fused off here. They're really nice coils. They come in the little tubes with the cotton in there as well. So, oh, nice. I like yeah. the packaging. The packaging is cool, man. Yeah, on the front he's got like his, his Instagram name and stuff, but it's big boy coils on the front. Nice. Cool. But yeah, he, he said to me, I'll send you a few pairs because like we've been working together and stuff. He said, I'll send you so you've got coils for the juice reviews. And then like basically three tubs turned up. So Shane, I know I've already thanked you, but thanks very much again. It is appreciated. Good coils too. You don't need much when you devil set them vapor. up. What you want about devil? He's vaping chilled custard or something at the minute. Chilled custard would work if they put a, if they're very gentle with the cool ardor. Mm, no. When's your ever eat cold custard? Menthol custard tobacco for Vic. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Shelly, if you're looking for good Clapton's, Shane's. Yeah, yeah, Shane put a link in so that you can link it and stuff. Yeah, I'm doing that. Vic sent me some of the Aries coils, they're really smart. Aries are gorgeous. Uh, what have I got? I've got staggered fused Clapton's yep. and fused Clapton's. His fused are just, yeah. I was gutted, but I, I was on my last pair. Uh, I took the cotton out to rewick and fired it on like 90 watts and it just went ping out the deck. So, oh. <laughs> I just had to attend to some important business. <clears throat> you probably heard it. <laughs> now, see, I, I always make fused. I've even put fused in the, uh, the review setup now. Yeah. But 
obviously I make them myself. They always turn out the exact right homes for me, but I do want to try other people's because I can't take my own for my entire life. Well, I've got a pair of his in the uh, Aegis at the minute, and they're coming out at 0 0.23. So Around about, oh, exactly where mine are coming out on this one at the moment. Yeah. I'm not going to show it. <laughs> and my desk looks like I'm about to have a game of Guinness Skittles. <laughs> Guinness Skittles? Is that you vaping? Yes. Okay. I wish, I wish. <laughs> So listen, Chris, can I can ask you a question. I mean, I've always wanted to meet Dino. Uh, you met him at the vape fair finder thing, didn't you? He just looks like a cracking lad. I was he's hilarious. Yeah, I was dead disappointed when I went to Vape Expo because uh, he's one of the guys I wanted to meet, like, you know, and he weren't there, like, oh, you devil vapor, you. <laughs> but um, he looks a cracking laugh, like, you know what I mean? And you actually met him yourself for the first time, I believe, Chris. Well. I got there, and when we bumped into each other and spoke to each other, it felt like we'd been mates for years. We just went straight away. He's he strikes so me as that type of fella, like, you meet him, you feel like you're known him for yonks, you know what I mean? The thing is, it's quite cool because we both share the same sense of humour, which is just crazy. So it was fun all weekend. Mm. They're just little things that happen, and you'd see him laughing, and then I'd think, so they just, oh, it was brilliant. Yeah. So do you know, in May, next year, you better be there, lad. They're seen, I've tried a few trifle juices. Um, my local vape shop mate one, it's quite nice. Trifle? One thing I've never tried in a juice. Oh, you don't want a trifle of juice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, worst juice, worst three juices I've ever tried. Pizza. What? Cheese and bacon. No. This was a dream, Kev. <laughs> no, 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 they're real. Uh, the, the vape shop I used to work in, the manager of the second shop we had in that town, he has been DIY mixing since vaping began vaping. Uh, he actually helped start the company and he gets none of the royal which is funny as fuck. But yeah. And um, he makes all of his own juices, he makes half of his concentrates himself. Yeah. That's hard and to do. Bacon, it tastes like bacon, but it's so fucking wrong. Yeah, yeah. The cheese he makes is like a sour, really horrible sour cream cheese. Yeah, yeah. And then he does a pizza. And you can taste the tomato in it, you can taste the cheese in it, but it just is no. See, um, what's his name? Was it Rick Riyad? Um, he he made a juice. He, he had um, two concentrates from um, chefs. One was um, one was a pancake, type me like a pancake man type of thing, and the other one was a bacon concentrate. And he mixed mixed them together with some other bits. And he said it was actually really nice. It tasted like you were having bacon with your waffles in America. Yeah. See, there was a guy at Vape Fest a few years ago that had like a little tiny stand and he was selling like the hot wings from KFC and gravy and roast dinner and Big Mac and it was just like, why? <laughs> <laughs> One thing he did do, which was quite funny, he had a really strong garlic and he was just basically selling it as a prank juice. He said, when you make Stevie Drippers lying around, put a few drops on it, let them vape it. <laughs> Vic, yeah. that's just making me hungry now. <laughs> Shit, just fruit trifle, nice and cake. I can eat a trifle now. We've got jelly in the house, yes. We've got bread in the house. We've got a uh, biscuit, trifle biscuits, yes, we have. We've got custard and cream, possibly. I might make a trifle tonight now. <laughs> 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 oh, little bro, come on, man. What? Oh, dear. <laughs> Aiden, strike one. That's <laughs> that's one of the juice you'd open and go, no, 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 no. But the lid back on it. Even bacon, lettuce, tomato, vampire legacy than that one, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, BLT vape. Let's make a BLT vape for BLT. <laughs> KFC gravy vape now. Yeah, I love that. I one. would say yes, but I had KFC the other day and their gravy's changed. It's not as good as it used to be. No. Agreed. I had two KFCs in London and it was gorgeous. See, I think savoury vapes are never going to take off early. You know, um, there's something appealing about dessert, custody type stuff and all that, and fruit based and drink based. But yeah. hot food substances done in a vape. Yeah. What do you reckon, pasty flavour? Oh, Scouse. Oh, but then you've got to have a Cornish version Lob and Scouse. a Devon version. Scouse vape. That'd be interesting. Love Scouse. Love Scouse. <laughs> no, I just don't think it. It just doesn't. Um, where uh, it, it's just the wrong it, in theory it sounds great but that you'd have to be eating the stuff you know what I mean mm -hmm. so I think like because the other things are cold yeah they, they, they work you know what I mean but hot stuff no. 
no, no. It's like let's have a chili vape. <laughs> have you seen the video there, of that there guy? Is, there is, seen there are a couple of them out. Carolina cherry ones. Oh, what was the one that Vic did? The triple X boiler water? <laughs> boiler water? Yeah, boiler water from um, LSC Steam Company. Yeah, yeah. those would be the crackpots. Yeah. It's actually that? really nice. I tried it. <laughs> oh, no, no, definitely not one for me. The thing so is, it sounds rank, but when you vape it, it's actually quite nice. It's like it's almost like those old-fashioned cough sweets you used to get from the, uh, you know, the old chili cough sweets you used to get from the proper sweet shops with the jars and that. Yeah, yeah. 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 It'd be like vaping a fisherman's friend. Insert joke here. <laughs> they just used um, cinnamon hot, haven't they? You know, cinnamon hot flavor you can, flavoring you can get. Boiler water's nice. Well, see, J. Jaddy's put Tony the Tiger cereal bar flavor. That type of thing would sell. Yeah, I think it's so, already yeah. exists, doesn't it? Someone's done that one. What the breakfast same, bar one? Yeah, um, same with um, rice crispy bars as well. Yeah, they're done. Yeah. Oh yeah, Vic saying, "Oh fuck, the the XX boiler water was rather strong." Yeah, the triple X one was strong, but the normal boiler water version was nice. What flavour was it? It was like uh, yeah, it was cinnamon, chili, and menthol, and eucalyptus, and all sorts going on it. No. And there's also a company called Alchemy called one um, Enter the Dragon. Yeah, and, and that was a chili and chocolate. Yeah. Speaking of things like that, did you see the company at the, at the uh, London show that's basically ripped off Fruit Ninja? <laughs> They're called Ninja Vape and they had like fake watermelons with like katanas in them and stuff from the game. It's like, <laughs> come on. There wasn't that much of that this time, though, which is quite good. Like, the whole appealing to kids thing. There wasn't mm. that much of it. Oh, yeah. Dino wants to join us after the show. Okay. Oh, cool. Talking about spicy vapes, try the pepper vape. What? Quickly turn to a pepper spray. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Ninja Fruit, is that what it was called? Ninja Fruit. They had like the whole. Have you seen the game that you get and you basically the fruits fly up and you can, it's an iPhone game. You can swipe yeah. through it and that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what it was. They had the, the watermelons with the fake katana blades in it. I was just like, that's a game and it's copyright infringement and stuff. Yeah, definitely. That's what I quite liked. Uh, getting back to these guys before I was talking to you, um, I'm going to be reviewing it. Be coming up soon. This um, you got e juice. Yeah. Yeah. What I like about this and other manufacturers take note. Uh, look at how simple that is. Yep. There's no enticement for children whatsoever on that, is there? Right, but Tony, imagine if you've got a warehouse full of them and you've got 26 different flavours, for instance. How are you going to know which fucking bottle's which? Yeah. It's, um, quite simply, not my fucking problem. I'm buying <laughs> I know what you're saying, though, dude. I do know what you're saying. I do know what you're saying, but we buy with our eyes, don't we? And things that are brightly coloured appeal to us. See, but look at mine. Mine's very sort of basic to the point and it's still selling. Yeah, but you've still still got colour in it. Yeah, but Chris's doesn't appeal to children, does it? No, no, it doesn't. You know, that's, that's, you know, neither does that. You know, Mm. that's bright. You can spot it a mile off. You know that that one's slap current. You know that that one's the menthol. You know what I mean? You can distinguish. That's most of what it's for. It's it's typical marketing, isn't it? Of course, yeah. I take your point, Jay. You buy with your eyes, but the, what I'm saying is, that'll that still sell. sell. Yeah, oh, of course it will. Yeah, that will, will still sell, like you know what I mean. But I mean, I mean, some of them, I, I just look at them and think no, but others, I think mm, it's a bit on the edge. Uh, but the thing is, a lot of them, they, people think, oh, it's to children. It's not. It's appealing to what we remember when we were kids. Yeah. A lot. Ah. Of it. Well, it's a double-edged sword, though, Jay. Yeah. Because. Not only is it what you've just said, for but instance, unfortunately, it appeals to kids. For a point. See, the thing, the different thing is, uh, Kev, you, uh, sorry, uh, Jay, you yeah. make a very good point, and it appeals to our inner child, is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. that's that's now, it's our memories, isn't it? Yeah. That's what they're coding now, on. Now, now, that's a good point. However, to a child, it doesn't oh, yeah. resonate kids that way. Thick. Kids just think, oh, that's a juice, I'll drink that. Mm. You know what I mean? So that, that, that... they'll fucking drink bleach, and that's in a plain white fucking bottle. They'll uh, drink fucking anything. Case and, in point. Go on. Cartoon man with a bottle of milk. Yeah. 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 Oh, and yeah. talking of and talking of kids. Yeah. You know these childproof fucking lids on fucking on juice bottles. Yeah. I was yeah. at my friend's house at the weekend, and it had a childproof lid on it, and it was sealed. It hadn't been opened. And I put it on the side, and one of the kids had picked it up and opened it. 
Yeah. He was fucking stupid. 21, though, yeah. Jay. <laughs> I will admit, when, when, when we brought our bottles and we, we got the child proof caps. However, I think they're just they're just too easy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you should the ones you do want to get open, you can't fucking get open. Well, you should do. You should have USB ports, wire them into the fucking socket, and the kids will do it again. Get with it, like, Samsung to design the new bottles, like the new phone, new retina recognition. You have to look at the bottle. <laughs> now it's got a little Tesla coil on the top. <laughs> yeah. But but seriously though, getting back to the point in hand, uh, if you make it appealing to the inner child, I take yeah. your point, Jay. However, kids can't differentiate; they don't have an inner child because they are just a child, yeah. and that's me concern. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. Some of them are just ridiculous. You know the way they go about it, but you know, I mean, some of it is down just trying to appeal to us what we remember. Yeah. Like like I said before, the pick and mix one. We remember the stripy bags. We remember you know all that stuff. You know, let's face it. Who remembers Woolworths pick and mix? Everybody wants Woolworths pick and mix. Do you know what I mean? No, well, originally it used to be really bad because you used to do it by weight, didn't they? And then they changed to this new thing. With, you had a jar. You had like a, a cut, didn't you? A paper cut. And the rule was, as long as the lid went on, you could. Yeah. Fucking, it was that price. So you'd be there like that, getting all the fucking jelly ones in there and using another fucking tub to ram it down so you could get as much in. And you sort of walk to the counter like that, jet like you've got a bomb. Tony, <laughs> so you're talking slowly about put the, it down uh, so the lid don't pop off. When you're talking about the pick and mix there, Tony, please tell me you mean the old swan woolies. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you just you you guys rather complicated it. We just went pocket. <laughs> pocket. <laughs> yeah. Pocket. Well, mate, and when your pockets are full, you went on the pocket. This is showing how long ago I went to fucking uh, Liverpool. I went to the Rushworth music shop. That's how oh, the last time I went to Liverpool. Yeah. You had a really big um, Woolworths in Old Swan. That got, obviously, you went, and, when um, it went bust. But that was what? quality. Tandy in Liverpool was awesome as well. I went there fucking many moons ago. I remember my dad buying me Grand Theft Auto on, on Boxing Day from that shop when I was about 13. He's like, what's this game? Don't worry, I'm just going to shoot prostitutes. <laughs> <laughs> going back to Rushies, uh, as we used to call it, Rushworth and Liverpool, that's where I got my very first uh, Gibson Les Paul copy. Ooh. It was from uh, Rushworth, like uh, a Grant Les they Paul copy. Nice, they had some nice stuff in there. If you're after a really good copy or sort of copy of a Les Paul, go for a Tokai. Yeah, oh, yeah, the Tokai yeah. yeah. stuff really well. There's, yeah. there's, there's meant to be... a lot of people don't know, I used to repair PA gear and guitars and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, Duke's hit it on the head. The psychology of colours we see it in our in our everyday lives, i.e. labels. Yeah. yeah, and I'll tell you what, I'm fucking guilty of it. Yeah, you buy with your eyes. It's like our old labels. Every juice had its own fucking colour. Yeah. So you could. Our new labels. Every juice has its own fucking colour, but it's just a little bit less. Yeah. Yeah. But you can see my point, can't you? Imagine if you got a vape shop, and Chris will back me up on this. Imagine you got a vape shop, and every single label is black and white. Can yeah. You imagine trying to sort the fucking, you know. This company does it as well, McLeod. They're fucking horrible juices, yeah. but they've got nice labels. <laughs> Red, yellow, there's a purple one, there's a green one. I find one. that, though, with some companies nowadays, it's all in the packaging and the labels. The juice is shit. Yeah. yeah. Because once you've bought it, you've bought it, you've got the money. They don't give a shit. What's that, Kane? Johnson's going, Tony, how many so far on my 10th? I don't... Does that not make Guinness any sense now? <laughs> Ooh, you Kane. You've Kane them, Kane. <laughs> uh, you're on your 10th? Mm, I usually, after about 12, I have to go on brandies, to be honest with you. You know? Oh. Cavogier, of course. Yes. Oh. Cavogier. We well, don't like it now, Jeff. What's wrong with you, Kev? Cavogier. Yeah. Brandy. That was the like bane it. of my life when I was a barman. Fucking Cavazier. Oh, I love Cavazier, mate. See, I used to be into me whiskey. It doesn't yeah. sit in the bar pumps properly because of its uh, odd shaped fucking cocky yeah. bottle. Yeah, yeah. I thought you meant the taste. I was all perplexed then, like, you know what I mean? See, I used yeah, to be into me whiskeys awesome. in a big way, but I've turned into a rum drinker lately, so. A rum drinker? Black crack and rum in the little pirate bottle. Oh, yeah, black crack and yeah. Ever since you got the I Joy Captain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at me, I am the Mind captain. Mind you, now. he looks a bit like Captain Budwash, <laughs> doesn't he? <laughs> Did 
<laughs> Charlie does that all the time. You know that in the, um, that film is it Russell Crowe when he's the captain of the ship? I am the captain. Yeah, Charlie yeah, comes uh, in every time I've got it. He goes, "Look at me, I am the captain now." <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it Master and Commander? Who? Where Russell Crowe's captain of a ship? No, that oh, one when no. he gets sprayed by the pirates. Isn't that um? Is that the one with Tom Hanks? Bounty, isn't it? It's Bounty, isn't it? I don't know what it is. He's just in like a big ship, and he just go up, up alongside in the dinghy and take over. It's a replay. It's a remake of Mutiny on the Bounty. It's just called Bounty. It's the best <laughs> film ever, just for that one line. He just gets on the boat, and like they've all got guns, but someone managed to get to the, the whole um where the deck of the ship is. And there's that one line. He just looks at him and goes, "Look at me. I am the captain now." <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. I am captain now. <laughs> yeah, every time because we've all got captains in the shop so Charlie will normally come in and go Chris look at me I'm the captain now <laughs> <laughs> but that explains why you're on your own anyhow Chris <laughs> I love it black cracking it's so easy to drink you can drink it with coke or straight it's just and it comes in a pirate bottle so it's always cool happy days happy I was days. always a fan of um, Pusses Rum mm. which one Pusses Pussies what <laughs> We're all a fan of that, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> Poor need you be having a heart attack here. <laughs> Someone needs to screen cap that and just have Kev at the beginning of his reviews. Pussies. <laughs> 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 just <stop. laughs> Pussies. I'm the pussy now. <laughs> Look at me, I'm the pussy now. <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? Me, ow. <laughs> Oh, Becca, why'd you keep this information from me? I've just remembered there's a bottle of Jack in the car. What? Ooh. Oh, now, talking about Jack Daniels, the Christmas Good ones. Fuck, the Christmas one's lovely. Have you oh, the, 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 oh, the smoked one. one. Yeah, the one you warm yeah. it up. Mm. Yeah, my nephew had that. Nice. It's good shit. It's good shit. But I'm particularly fond of the JG with honey. I can't drink that I'll one. Tell you, I'll tell you with what, a bit of Coca-Cola really nice. and nice. I'll tell you which whiskey I quite like. It's that Hake Club one. That's quite nice. There that it is. Quite nice. Quite oh, nice. There you go. That's Look the cracker. That. It's a little pirate bottle. Oh, I like that bottle. Yeah. Black cracker. Oh, is it Lidl? Where is it? Lidl do a slow gin and it's amazing. Chris, you are the captain now. Look at me. I'm the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that smells gorgeous. It's like doing a juice of you. <laughs> I was tempted There's to say, neck it now. No, is it Captain no, Morgan's no, that does no, the spiced no. one, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Morgan's do a spiced. Yeah, that's a nice one. Chris. Spiced is nice. That's well, how... first Sailor Jerry's. By the way, did you just watch Chris there? That's how we roll in Liverpool, okay? <laughs> isn't there a spice Southern Comfort as well? Uh, yeah, but it's limited edition. It's like a Christmas one yeah. again. Yeah, it was really nice, that was. Now, uh, actually, speaking to... Uh, I need to speak to when we were on about the whole whiskey thing. I was speaking to one of the guys from the NNA at the show. And we, I don't know what we got onto the subject of talking about whiskeys because he was quite into his whiskeys as well. And he said, I've got to take, ask Dave Dawn, apparently put a couple of drops of water into a whiskey, no ice, and just swirl it around and look at what it does. Apparently, it makes before. it pop. Yeah, Yeah, I've heard that before, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got me and Becca got... It was off one of the lads for... Um, I think it was the the shop of doing something in the shop, and basically it was a peppermint vodka, but the bottle was one of them scratch and sniff bottles. Yeah. <laughs> so you do that and you go. And you smell it. Excuse me, what's your play? There's what? There's a is it a vodka with cinnamon in it as well? Oh and no, that cinnamon. Bits in it. That's quite nice. Oh, that's gold slugger, you mean? Yeah, gold slugger. It's got one. gold pieces in it. It's meant to yeah, cut yeah, your throat yeah. when you're drinking and get into your system quicker. Yeah. Yeah, that's expensive. That stuff. I know it is. It's quite nice though. <laughs> no, Becca's a, a Jägermeister fan. She can drink that all night. I used to as well. Did you Did you try uh, Andy's Jäger chai? It didn't Andy's bring any. But apparently he's trying to make it into a juice, so I was like, I need yeah, that. Yeah, no, we've already. been in discussion, mate. We've been coming up with <laughs> That'll be amazing. But does Becca drink Jäger as in, like, uh, Jäger bombs, or does she drink it how it's supposed to be drank? She puts it... With Red Bull or Shotty. Twenty five mil in the bottom of a glass. Top it with Vimto. Oh. Yeah. And have it as a long drink like a cocktail. Yeah. Just constant obviously non diluted, just like that. Yeah. Ooh. Back up we need to try that. 
That could be quite nice. Oh, I drink it as a tall drink. <laughs> okay, we don't guys. mean empty the whole lot into a fun glass. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to call this quits in a bit because uh, Mrs. Right. Easy stuff has gone to bed. Yeah, we'll we'll end it now if you want. We'll end it now, yeah. 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 Um. So sorry to cut it short. Uh, what? Hmm. She who must be obeyed. Yeah. She must be obeyed. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's cool. <laughs> Okay, guys, so if, if that's okay with everyone, uh, chat, listen, can I just say thanks very much for joining? You've been fantastic yeah. as per Thank usual. Like, yeah, yeah. And the final word again tell the babe show tomorrow. Please yep. try and attend if you Get can. Get down there if you can. And if you can't attend, go to the Just Given site and try and throw a few bob their way, yeah? Yeah, yeah. go and support them. So and support the guys. And, guys, it's been a pleasure. I've been away for two weeks here. Fellow casters, I've missed you. It's good to be back. Hug, 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 hug. Come on, hug. Jay. Yeah. Kevin. He's like, no, I'm too Kevin. much hard or I've got a beard. Kevin. <laughs> he's just going to sit there and just go, pussies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know what Kev likes. <laughs> so uh, can I just say, like, it's been fantastic. Really enjoyed it tonight. Missed you guys. Something with yeah. and chat. Missed you as well. Like, no. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have and the lads have enjoyed it. Like, and all I can say to you is, like, please join us next Friday, and we'll have the same fun again, hopefully. Like, and no vape detected tomorrow. Sorry about that, but as I said, I'll try and throw a cheeky one in on a Wednesday and do a proper one on the Saturday. Yeah. So, guys, if you like, Jay, say good night to chat. Good night, chat. Chris, say good night to chat. Bye, guys. Mr. Viking, give chat a hug. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Now, chat, thanks very much, and we'll see you all very soon. Take care, guys. See you. See you. See you. See you. See you. See you.